Okay, okay. Now watch this. Watch this. I'm going to get back to 2200 right now. 100% chance. Guaranteed. Or your money back. Let me just make sure. Yep. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. Play E6, and let's transpose. Ooh, he's doing this. I don't think this is a good line. To be fair, he hasn't played E6 yet, and E6 is the move that kind of has anti-synergy with this entire setup. However, I'm going to be honest, I don't agree with this system. Specifically because I feel like... Okay, he wants to play E5. I feel like there's too many weaknesses in the, uh, well, not too many weaknesses, but there isn't any weakness in the white camp. Interesting. Huh. So my gut tells me do something like just take this a bunch of times and then get bishop here rook here and have a billion tempi can't be that bad right if i'm taking i want to take this knight first that way the rook is forced to capture because if i take knight and then take knight then now he can take actually i could play bishop f4 first since knight takes bishop takes yeah it doesn't work So I'll do this, and then I can play, like, rook a d1. And I just have a lot of activity. A lot of activity. And something like a knight d6 is playable immediately, maybe? Yeah, this is very good. This looks very good, at least. I just have so much activity. This looks completely good. This looks completely good. I just need a second to figure out what I actually want to play. So, bishop d6, queen d7 looks depressing after, like, a, a knight c5. So, I don't think that's good. Um, bishop d6, he can also play queen e6. I think that's the same problem, though. Maybe bishop d6 is the move. That looks like a very, very strong move. Hello, Jeffrey. What's up? Bishop d6 looks very strong. I'm also considering knight d6, which forces the rook to move. And when that happens, maybe I have rook e1. That also looks... This looks like an incredibly dominant position. I'm just so very active. Knight d6. It's either knight d6, rook e1. Is Rexbor okay? I have no idea. Can we get a wellness check? Again, it's either knight d6, rook e1, or it's bishop d6, knight c5. It's one of the two. I'm going to go for this. Because then I get like C5 and this knight is a thorn in his side for the rest of the game. I mean, just look at, look at my pieces. This is why I went into this so confidently. It's because my pieces are simply better. Just rookie one. Look at my pieces, man. Look at my pieces. And then I get c5, just twist the knife. He's playing really fast too. He's playing surprisingly fast. I really think you should have thought more in this position. I'm playing slower, but I, that's part of the problem. But just look at this and then like queen c4. Oh, the position is just dominant. Sure. Honestly, here I can even go like uh, bishop h3. But I'm just going to play c5 because I think it's simple and it can't be bad. And I have everything I could ever want. Knight e8 is possible. 
but I'm not too scared. Is 98 even possible, though? Do I have, like, Bishop G5 there? Looks tempting. Verbalism? What does the word verbalism mean? Mm, how do I want to go about this? I kind of want to play bishop d2, that way I can play bishop c3. That looks interesting. Also, like a bishop a5 is maybe a move at some point. Verbalism means thinking of the words instead of with them. This, and then like... E6, it looks just amazing. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. But it's not because I've verbally said they're good. I'm going with them because I'm trying to improve my position. And I feel like this is a very clear way to improve my position. And just, like, every move to me is very rational. Like, knight b5 is a weird move. That's actually kind of a threat. I think. Yeah, yeah of course. But that's not the reason... I'm playing the moves I'm playing. The reason I'm playing the moves I'm playing is because I really do honestly believe they are dominant. I have no idea where Rexbor is. That's a good question. This bishop is kind of worse than this knight, so I'm considering just chopping and keeping this knight here for the rest of this game. That's my first thought, but... After chop, pawn chops, this is kind of weak. So I'm a little, a little hesitant. I'll wait a second. There's no, I don't have to play urgent. Do not have a problem with this position. A rook b1 looks very strong as well. The d file is pretty well kept track of, so I think trying to control the b file is probably more productive. His knight looks strong visually, but I don't think it's as strong as it looks. Where do I want to go? I mean, queen feels like it could be improved. Something like this looks interesting. I want to I wanna check and I want to, like, get in. Because I feel like infiltrating with the queen is something that's really going to be quite strong if I can pull it off. So something like this. He doesn't want to take. Because if he takes, then suddenly, like, knight b7 and I get control over the b-file. I don't think he wants to give me that. Where is Rexbor? Maybe he's on, like, vacation or something. It's that time of year, you know? Something like knight c3 looks like it's strong, but check, and I take the knight, so. Which is a very simple tactic. I'm sure he sees it. But it's an important tactic because it's a huge reason why this position is so dominant. I'm going to play this anyway. Because it protects the c3 square, and this infiltration is still an idea. I guess I'll just play rook c1. No reason to overcomplicate it.
It's a very weird position. I'm considering going this way and maybe sacking the exchange. And then playing like bishop h3. Looks interesting. Oh, that is weird. Am I afraid of him taking on a3? Not particularly. I'll go here because it's a tempo on the rook. And I feel like that's super helpful. I want to add, give me 20 seconds. You got it. The tempo against the rook is another reason this move is good. Now it got even better because now I get the tempo. Hello, Dane. It's so close to completely dominant, I just need to find a way to force force everything to work. So I could go like here, here, and try to just push. I'm gonna go for this. I don't I don't see an easy way for him to defend it. And it looks pretty dominant. The idea then being just take the knight and play queen f6. He would have to like play f6 himself or something, but that looks way too weakening. It is a weird game. It's a very weird game. My opponent played very provocatively. Very provocatively. I mean, here I'm even kind of threatening to just capture. Analyzing viewer games? Nah. I'm going to be in a... I'm, I'm trying, a new, uh, a t trying a new title. I want to see if people respond better to... Um, me saying I'm analyzing viewer games as compared to me just uh, accepting challenges. Um, it's the same streams as I normally do, but it's a different facet I'm focusing on because I want to see how people respond. I'm a, I'm a tinkerer at heart, as you know. Uh, see, if I take, now he plays F takes, right? So I don't think I want to do that anymore. I think it changed. I think the plan has changed. Maybe that's still good for me, honestly. But... Very weird position. I feel like these dark squares are going to be big problems for him. Interesting. I don't want that. I don't see a good square for the queen, only a few bad ones. Because then I have like queen f4 and I'm trying to like get in. Or no, like queen b2. Queen e5 looks incredibly suspicious. He might try it anyway, but I just don't believe that works. Maybe it does, but I just don't believe it. What What is that word? What, how would I pronounce that? Oh, I don't know. I mean, let me in. I'm not winning. Am I not winning like copious amounts of material? This is what I meant. I told you these dark squares are going to be a problem. You can't just have dark squares like that and everything be fine. That's not how chess works. You can't. Hello, penguins can fly 10. Okay. 2153. New here came from YouTube. Ah, sick. Is it better to watch on YouTube or Twitch? Cameron, it is better to watch on Twitch because uh, 
I have like the queue and the notifications set up better on Twitch because I'm Twitch first, YouTube second. I have a YouTube chat on. Well, welcome, penguins. We have like a queue. Go so first, I start my streams with trying to gain as much elo as possible. I play until I lose. And then that's usually only like two or three games. Sometimes I go a little, it goes a little longer if I'm having a good day. Cameron? Ah, nice. If I'm having a good day, it goes a little longer. But then afterwards, I start either playing people in queue or analyzing their games, depending on what they want. Either way, it's all the same to me. I'm just happy to be here. So you're playing in the pool? Yes, right now I'm just playing until I lose. Because I want elo. Hello, Cormac. I start by playing until I lose, which, and then for the rest of the stream, it's analyzing games, which will be a while, so. Normally, I think I want to go g6, knight e7, knight, uh, bishop g7, and then castle short. Trading the bishop for the knight this early on is an interesting choice. It's very committal. I kind of disagree with it, but I feel like the blitz pool is really weak right now. Maybe some inflation or something. Well, this is rapid currently, 10 plus 0. I don't play that much blitz. My blitz rating is like 1600. Because I don't play Blitz at all, but my Rapid Elo is currently 2153. Because um I grind Rapid. I've hit 2200 before, but this midterms got me down bad. Oh, he, he wants me dead. Like dead dead. Gotcha, I don't really play much Rapid due to the amount of cheaters. Yeah, I get that a lot actually. A lot of people ask me how, wh why I play Rapid because there's so many cheaters, it's not worth it. Very common thing for people to talk about. Which, I mean, makes sense, right? That was a dumb move. Maybe it won't be that long I uh, play till I lose. If I'm playing this good, this quality of chess. Goodness gracious. Why are you chess.com and no Lee chess? Well, currently it's because I'm a chess.com partner. Before that, it's because I just like the platform. Sincerely. I like the way they handle things. I like what they do for the chess community. I'm not anti Lee Chess. Lee Chess is pretty darn cool. Has better quality players in general. I like I like Chess.com's approach. It's going it's going okay, Norwegian. A little stressed, but personally I love the Lee Chess interface. You know what? Completely fair. Again, this is not anti Lee Chess. This is not Lee Chess bad. This is I like Chess.com better. Lee Chess is amazing. I've said this before. I said it one time. I said I'll say it a thousand times. As a community. We in chess are so very lucky that we have so that we have two amazing options for what chess websites. Dang it, I missed that in the other. Yeah. I think he missed knight f5, because this is a very strong move, it looks like. Again, I allowing the queen move like I did was definitely a mistake. That being said, it doesn't look that bad to me. I definitely played far worse positions. And um, actually, in this position, why can't I take this? Rook d1 doesn't do anything. What is he threatening? I don't think he's threatening anything. I'm calling the bluff. This bishop's incredibly strong. Hey, good job, Neoda. More title players to play on chess.com? Yeah, well, that's because title players on chess.com get free premium. Fun fact. Which is a genius marketing uh, marketing move. It's a really quite good marketing move. So it looks like that's the mood of the week, is happy but stressed. Which, to be fair, there are worse moods. I don't want to take this. I don't think he has anything. I think he's coping. Well, not just a good motivation to get titled, but it's like, if you're a titled player, it's like, okay, chess.com premium, there's legitimate benefits there. And so it's like, okay, I mean, why not, right? Because that's the reason to play on Lee Chess, other than if you really like the interface, which, I mean, to be fair, valid, because the interface on Lee Chess is quite good. I think my opponent is coping. I don't think anything exists in this position. I I really just think it's all smoke and mirrors. I'm not at all afraid. This looks very good to me. Worst case scenario, I can go for something very, very chicken liver like this. 
and while that might not be good, it's a cheap way to get out of the position. I can just escape. Or something to consider is even maybe knight takes, uh, bishop takes knight, and then queen d5, just lining up here. Hey, thanks so much for the prime sub, sub Leppy. Six months. Long time. My debate paper has gotten 230 comments on the newspaper, ranging from calling me stupid to saying that I need psychological help. Same time, both Twitter and my Instagram and Twitter DMs feed is on fire. Wait, wait. Are they only negative comments? Or is it like a weird mix? Because I would expect some level of negative comment, but it's like, a, it's negative and positive, right? Thank you, Snail. I'm going to play h6. I think I'm, I'm calling all of the bluffs. There's nothing here. There's nothing here, because you can't even play rookie, rook d1 anymore. There's no threat. What's it going to do? Play like knight c5? Stop. 90% negative? Sheesh. I wonder why. Has a higher ratio of cheaters, Lee Chesso's better, is the best quality of players? You think so? Hello, Snail. How's life? Stressful, but overall good. Which I'll take. That is a very weird position. I'm not sure how I feel about it. If takes, knight takes here, very mixed. Can I do something stupid like queen d5? Or maybe bishop takes? I could go bishop takes. Bishop takes, king takes, and like queen d5. The knight goes back, but then I have this check. No, I don't. Queen could take. I have this check, though. King here. No, I don't. He has bishop takes. I don't have any checks. I don't. Maybe takes, uh, knight takes. Maybe I can get away with knight h4 there. No, I can't. The queen could take the bishop. Wow, what a weird position. What a weird position. Maybe I go queen c7 and I try to castle long. That looks rational. Kind of games are you analyzing? I mean, whatever. I, again, I'm, this is the same as my normal streams. I'm just changing the title to emphasize the analysis because people are surprised that I analyze games as well as play with people. And so I'm trying to see if focusing on that gives me a different audience. It's a it's a social experiment. It's because who cares enough to get user on the newspaper and comment? Negative feelings are those that lead to action. This is true. I haven't got any data back of this claim, but it's also my understanding that Chester comments more sandbaggers. Interesting. Again, I don't know, but... What's game the other day? I don't know how to send them to you. Analyze this normally. We can't link stuff like Twitch chat. You can link it here. Don't worry, penguins. My mortal game. Oh, now I have, now that I want to see. Show me your mortal game. This is my this might be dumb. Your castle long looks interesting. Yeah, I have links turned on because so far my Twitch chat has behaved. So you know how every Twitch streamer says they have the best Twitch chat? Well, I actually have the best Twitch chat. I do. It's true. It's it's a factual statement. North Macedonian flag? Yeah, because I uh, currently live in North Macedonia. It's my place of residence. Half for the past eight and a half years. Hmm. If this club will have me as a member, then I won't join. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be like that. How do I, I feel like I should be better here, but I'm trying to figure out how to make progress. Um... This bishop is interesting. I have a lot of interestingly placed pieces. 
So I'm just going to go like rook d7. Rook d7 and bring the other rook to d8. Because the rook's not doing anything on g8, so just like this. Because doubling up on the open file can't be that bad. Posture check. That's a suggestion. Nice try. I got my eye on you. King Scandinavians. Kate, I need help. Why? What seems to be the problem? First of all, we all do. We all do need help. We're on Twitch, playing chess. Help is turn next week. I'm trying to check out my openings. Right. You just, did you find anything scary? Not a turn in and them, them. Penguins, you get used to it. <laughs> Trust me on this one. Just play tracks, of course. Naturally. Play. First problem that D4 is boring. Uh, play the Dutch. You're going to lose, but it won't be boring. <laughs> you might lose, but it won't be boring. <laughs> How do you play against E4? Sicilian. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what K plays against you. This is a very weird game of chess. And I think my opponent's of the same mind. It's very difficult to find a plan here. Don't play 1c5. Second problem is more of a doubt. What? I play Sicilian too? It's because it's good. You play Sicilian because it's a goaded opening. What can I say? Hyper Accelerated Dragon? No. Sicilian just plays some Bononi. The Bononi does not have a similar feel to the Sicilian. I really wish it did. It does not. The Bononi is like as far as you can get from a Sicilian. And because the Bononi is like this weird positionally dubious like the po get closed weird pawn structure. Man, there is... I, what Sicilian are you talking about? I play sharp Sicilians, I guess, but so I guess it might have something to do with its closest lane, but nah, because they push. They play d5. Once you get d5 happen, if they play d5, if they do anything else, then it might be like a Sicilian. But d5 is the main line. Dragon, it has no, nah, man, you're, nah, no, 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 no shot. There's no way the Benoni is like the dragon. It's just, no. The dragon is my baby. My best friend. I don't mean structurally. Yeah, it's structurally diametrically opposed. It's like exact opposite of dragon structure. Yeah, this is a very difficult position to find a plan for. Huh. It's a weird move. I mean, I could be greedy and gobble a pawn, but it seems a little... Yeah, but the Benoni, you're sacrificing long-term positional strengths for it. The Benoni long-term positionally is horrible. The Sicilian long-term positionally is very good because of your central pawn majority. That's why I like the Sicilian so much, is because long-term, the Sicilian is absolutely amazing positionally. The problem is surviving that long. If you could survive to the end game in the Sicilian every time, it's the best opening in chess. The problem is nobody can do that. Yeah, because the central pawns get steamrolled. This might be dumb, but I think it's genius. Well, yeah, it depends on the Sicilian. 
Cristiano. That's true of like the she the Sve no the the Sheveningen, the dragon, and some lines of the Nidorf. But it's absolutely not the case for like the um Svejnikov most of the time. Although there are some Svejnikov lines where you castle long. It's not true of the Svejnikov, it's not true of the hyper or the hyper accelerated dragon or the accelerated dragon. Oh, that's a weird move. That's a very weird move. It really depends on the Sicilian line we're talking about. That's part of the problem with saying any big broad stroke statements about the Sicilian is that the lines vary so much that it's difficult to make any big broad stroke statement without it just being patently false. You can, but there just aren't that many things you could say. I'm pretty confused by what knight takes. Maybe he's trying to play queen f8. But even after queen f8, if I trade queens, I feel like I'm better. Actually, I can't trade queens because then knight takes. Never mind. So I have to go like, oh, hold on a second. That might have been a blunder on my part then. No, I could just play rook back. It's fine. Yeah, I could play rook back. And it's a repeat worst case scenario. That would be suicidal. Exactly. <laughs> because the all the dragon lines are like barely holding on for both sides anyway. So if you cast along in the accelerator dragon, you're giving black a free tempo, and that's that's suicide in any meaningfully uh meaningfully advanced dragon position. <laughs> okay, give me a second. I'm trying to win. A very confusing position, this one. Um, I mean, I'm just going to play simple endgame because I don't have the time to calculate super deep into any of these other lines. And I think I'm just like a pawn up because I don't see how you like meaningfully defend everything after like rook d1. It looks pretty bad. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong in coping, but it looks kind of bad. Like this, and I feel like I'm just way more active, and that makes it very difficult for uh, white to play. Maybe I don't win any material outright, but it's definitely an easier position for black. And with 40 seconds on the clock, and with 40 seconds on the clock, I'd be shocked if white could play a good game of chess here. Especially when I have stuff like g4 coming. Ooh, that's... How do you deal with this? Very weird position. I'll just hold on to my pawn. No need to be greedy. No need whatsoever. I'll just be annoying. I can take or I can check. Check looks better. Just simple chess, everybody. Simple chess. Uh, see, one on time. That's two in a row. Let's see if we can keep going. Come on. The goal is to make Kromnik accuse me of cheating. On Twitter. That's how you know you've made it. Hey, that's so cool, Kate. Congrats. What I mean, the brilliant move got removed? Nobody cares. Just tell me which move it is, and it'll be brilliant to all of our hearts. I'm playing against Heisenberg. On X, you mean? No. I, I don't mean on X, actually. Fun fact, I do not mean on X. <laughs> I 
I actually just checked this line like last week because I had someone play it against me. So this is pretty fresh in my mind. I'm not better here, but. The A6 line of what? I do like my position here. This white pieces have uh, more trouble getting developed than mine do. So I think I'm pretty safe to just go for something like this. Queen's got declined. I mean, it's pretty dry, but it's not bad. Just going to threaten to take the pawn. He doesn't have any meaningful threats in this position. Very dry. I think I could have played this slightly better. Maybe bishop e7 would have been better to prevent d4. Or maybe after d4, uh, I should have played like bishop c7 or something. Or maybe just like rook d8. Let him take and take with bishop. Julius likes it? Oh yeah, for sure. It's definitely not bad. He's giving me a pawn. I guess he's not giving me a pawn because he's threatening to take. Very odd position. I mean, here it's. Where does the queen go? I guess he could give me a check, but that's meaningless, isn't it? Where does the queen go? Sorry, I'm not super actively reading Twitch messages. I'm just streaming. Yes, sir. My phone asked if I was streaming and said hi, chat. Based. I. You know what? I kind of want to. Mm, I kind of want to play content brained in Castle Long. That's a terrible idea. He has queen. He has a queen a7. I'm just gonna play rook d8. Threatened bishop takes h2 again. Interesting move. How's white better here? Yeah. It'd be a bit... I, I, I think that would be a bit weird too, Flomac. Now I go here, and then I'm going to push h6. I could have let the knight come to c4, I suppose. But I don't think the knight really has any good squares. After h6, maybe he goes rook e3 and decides that he wants me dead. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Called it. Called it. Mm-hmm. 
I think I'm going to be a coward and play this. Again, this is a very cowardly move. But I'm not in the mood to get checkmated right now, so I'll play. Two NMs and one FM? That sounds like an opportunity. I definitely prefer black after CSD4. Yeah. I don't know. I think I've played this ra relatively poorly. Not like end of the world, but definitely could have done better. Um, well, we'll see, right? Common KW. CSD5, which is the main, main, main line. I mean... I like the Queen's Gambit decline positions. A6 is often a not super useful move in the exchange variations that you mentioned, and that's why I'm not too scared of it usually. Because then you can just play the boring lines, you know? So again, I'm just going to be a coward. Six, and then queen takes, and then there's no attack. The end game's relatively dry, but you know what you're going to do. Huh, expected queen takes. That's fine. That's fine. I'm trying to decide if I want to trade queens. I think I do. Um, because I'm not that afraid of the double pawns, and honestly, double pawns giving me the square for the knight almost might be a good thing. Because I do really want to play knight f knight f4. So I'm not really afraid of double pawns. And knight f4 might be a good move, even if he um doesn't trade queens. Cake is a lie. Yes, it is. Portal shirt, you noticed. Or did you notice? Or did you just happen to make a portal reference? If so, that's pretty funny. Okay. Sure. You know what? I like this position. This move seems inaccurate to me. Because where do you move the rook now? I guess you have to go here. This game's kind of ugly. Just feels kind of bad, you know? Just like this. The problem is c4 there. So I guess I will play rook c8. Oh no, rook c8 allows knight, knight f5. That's actually very annoying. I'm going to play king f8 first. I just want to prevent knight f5 because that's a very annoying move. And then I'm going to play rook c8. Okay. This is a little bit stressful, not gonna lie. 
But again, my plan is e5, rook d2, and I think that's relatively difficult to stop. e5, if he, even if he plays knight f3, I get to play uh, f6, and I think that solidifies pretty pretty well. If h4 is ever played, I just play g takes. My doubled pawns don't look like that big of a deal. Um, I feel like the central control kind of compensates. If I go here and he goes here, do I, am I afraid of anything? Not particularly. And if he goes knight f5, I just go f6, and I still plan on going rook d2. That's why I think knight f5 is not that bad, because uh, rook e2 is really difficult to stop then. And, uh, or getting my rook somewhere, like, you move either one of these rooks, I just go to the file of the rook you moved, you know what I mean? And then if I can double on the D file, then I think I'm, and, uh, I'm sitting pretty. That I didn't think worked. Maybe I missed something, but I figured I just had rook D6, and if knight takes E5, oh, dumb. Okay, I have to play rook d2. Because if knight takes e5, rook e6, he can just play like knight takes g6 or something. Okay, sure. Fair enough. But, I mean, this is why rook d2 is the constant threat. Still looks still looks drawish. Especially if we trade knights, which is looks like what he has to do in this position. Otherwise, I play, G, I play f6 and his entire idea is dumb. So I really do expect him to uh, trade knights. If you play something like this, I take and play f and play f six. So if he trades knights, okay, he does not. But instead, he lets me solidify everything. Okay, now I'm not scared of anything anymore. So there's nothing to be scared of, frankly. His knight's pretty good, but. It's not even that good. <laughs> I guess rook d7 is a little annoying. In which case, I'll do something like this. Just to prevent it. The knight has to go to b4, and then I can play a a5, and the knight has to go either to c2, in which case I play rook e7. Like here, here, and it has these three squares, right? And out of those three squares, I mean, it can go here too, I guess, but that doesn't look very good. Uh, so out of those three squares, if he goes to either one of these two, I play rook d8 and force a knight trade, and we trade all the pieces, and the end game's fine. If he goes here... If he goes here, then I just go king e7. And he doesn't get rook d7 anymore. So it's not too scary either. You're not playing viewers? I'm gonna. Uh, once I'm done winning. You know how it is, Nor. You know how it is, Cristiano. Rook takes g2 checkmate? Yes. That's the plan. No? Fide changed the rating system? Really? If so, that's super interesting. That's a very, like, bold decision, you know? Is it a plan change or have they like done it? Wait, hold on a second, this is important. It's a dumb move. a little passive. 97 solves most of my problems, though, I think.
Oh, they're updating to Glico 3? Uh, usually it's when it's your turn you send it to me. That's you. That's the most convenient way for me. Because otherwise I have to organize everything and it's a little bit messy just because I'm not the best at organizing things. So ideally you'd send it to me on your turn. Is it updating to the Glico 3 or is it a random change that's unrelated to Glico 3? No Glico 3? Then why? They must have a very good reason if they're making that drastic of a change. Now, that move looks very weird, because I just have King D6. And like, what are you doing? Isn't that just blunder, like, a ton of material? Like, I mean, am I missing something? You know what? That's kind of... That's kind of true. Uh, from my personal experience, being... I, I'm, I'm part of that category. So wait, 0 0.4 times 2,000 minus rating? So, hold on a second. I'm just about 1,600. What will I be afterwards? I'm having a minute and a half on the clock. I don't have time to do the math. I might have just taken the rook. I think it was better not to, because then his knight gets in, and his knight could cause a lot of damage. That's another win. Yeah, that that is... I From personal experience, that is true. Why don't you get... Won't you get 200? I have no idea. That's what I was asking. About 1760? Wow, that's super cool. I don't mind, because I'm one of the... I'm one of the... The people who got swole over COVID and is now rated way lower than I should be statistically. I am part of that niche. Yeah, you do You do need to join the queue. And again, you can still play with me, Naoda. I'm just trying to, because normally I do playing and I do analysis. However, that's it's difficult to express both of those things in the title, because other if you do that, then the title gets too long and people don't read it. So my, my thought, my thing I'm doing is today I'm trying out just using analysis in the title instead of just using the um instead of just using the playing and I want to see if that gives me a different demographic or if it's just strictly worse it's a experiment I'm not sure if it's smart time will tell those sorts of things are really difficult to predict but it's going to be interesting It's definitely going to be super interesting to see how it affects things. This might be a dumb move. That's an intro. I am, I'm actually super curious to see where that goes. I mean, time will tell like it always does, right? Thank you, Ahmed. Yeah, it was a good game. End games, man. And uh, to be fair, we both had like a minute on the clock. It's not easy to play that with a minute on the clock. You really do need more time for those positions. It's You just do. So it's hard to blame you. Because, I mean, somebody was going to blunder a rook eventually, you know? A healthy change, there won't really be downsides. Well, in my opinion, there's almost always downsides to tampering with things, you know? And so I don't I don't know if I believe that there are no downsides. However, it could absolutely be worth it, and I'm curious to see what the downsides are, because I don't see what they are either. Like I don't I don't see a downside, which makes me curious, because I, I feel like there probably is one that's just invisible. Which is, again, what makes this so interesting. 
Oh, this might be a dumb move. I'm just trying to poke and prod. Yeah, but it's like ELO inflation, right? Because they're just adding a bunch of ELO to the pool without, um, not without justification, but without the pool necessarily getting much stronger. Uh, inflation of some sort, I would expect, is the downside. But that's a guess based on economics, being an economics student. So, again, we'll see. It'll definitely be interesting, and I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to the free ELO, to be honest. Hello, Rexbor. We all, we almost did a wellness check. I was worried. They're printing ELO? I mean, kinda. <laughs> I'm not sure it's necessarily that bad of a thing, but it, it's kind of literally what they're doing. Experience to deflation? No, no, no. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm that's why I'm not vehemently against it, because I like see what the point is and it makes sense to me. You know? Like cringonomics? True. And like 10 minutes ago? Ah, fair enough. Based be any 1100s anymore it's going to be interesting i i could completely understand the justification and i think they might be right but i still like i'm still curious to see how it goes long term because you never know right hey that's when is this going into effect do we know of unintended consequences yeah i i really do believe there are going to be unintended consequences however like may the unintended consequences might not be that bad january 1st makes sense just because there are unintended consequences doesn't mean the unintended consequences are going to end the world you know what i mean so we'll find out one way or another that's why i'm not like again i'm not against it i'm just curious I'll do this. If he takes, I celebrate. If he doesn't take, I play uh, bishop b4. Then a5. Say they gain 2,000 two elo in two years. I haven't seen any of those videos specifically. I've seen them pop up in my feed, but I haven't ever watched one of them. So with that context in mind, why on earth would he take there? Is doubling my pawns really that good for him? I figured that getting rid of such a powerful piece would have been worth it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway. But, I mean, gaining 2,000 ELO in two years is definitely possible. It's just really hard. And so, like... I can't tell you if they did it or if they're lying, but... Do you think it should be higher or lower? Because it already is higher than the K-factor for non-juniors, but... Celebrate good times, come on! It's a time for... Yeah, it's on the higher end, but it is definitely doable. I've said this before, um, I've taken the slow route, and you can definitely do what I did faster than I did it. This is, so it doesn't, it, it's definitely not completely, insanely, definitely impossible to the point where I'm angry about people claiming it. It's not that impressive? That's what I mean. Well, it isn't. I've, like, anyone who's hit 2,000 will tell you that. They'll be like, yeah, it's cool and all, but it's not like, ooh. So you think it should be lower? Interesting. I don't necessarily disagree, but... Yeah, well, 2,000 feet A is significantly better than 2,000 chess.com. Some people forget that. Because it's easy to forget that, you know? French kiss with shotgun. That's a new one. I kind of like it. Well, yeah. It's hard. But I, it's not like... The most crazy, impossible thing of all time. But I don't think anyone's treating it like that. At least... I know I don't treat it like that. Actually, I'm going to go here first. I want to over-defend this pawn. That way I can play knight g6 and, like, king f8. 
It, the player pool is definitely smaller. It definitely is a significantly smaller player pool. Huh. So I thought that was bad because of knight g5. I guess you play king g2 or something. I don't trust this. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's like high, but it's like, it may, like I, I could see that. Yeah. Or they only play blitz. That's the problem, is you, you have a lot of people who either only play blitz or play mostly blitz to the degree where their other elos are not at all representative of their actual playing strength. Yeah, I would say it's more common to only play blitz than it is to not play online at all. In my limited experience. Logical conclusion is that rapid is bad for your chest? Of course. It's, it's simple logic. What a weird position. Like, my knight's almost trapped. Might be a dumb move. My intention is ninety six and then going to D four. It is, you know. It's not a threat, it's a promise, you know. Because bullet is pain and suffering and misery, and I hate it. Oh, that was a terrible move. I trapped my own queen. Okay. Cool. Nice. This, this is epic. Yeah, no. I do not. No, he had f4. He had f4 first, and after queen here, then he goes, then he goes knight f3. I guess maybe I could have, no, no, no. I can't even, yeah, no. He had f4. f4, and then knight f3, and then my best option is just probably to, like, trade queens, and sack a piece, and play, like, king f8, and try to play around my strong rook on the g5. Because I would have like two, almost three pawns for the knight. Not worth it, but I have three. You can play bishop takes e4. In this position, yeah, but bishop takes e4, he just goes pawn takes and the knight guards the queen. It doesn't actually threaten anything. No, after f4? After f4, I can go. Oh, I can go bishop takes immediately. Really? No, he just moves the king, does he not? He moves the king, and now I've got two pieces hanging. No, but the, I can't go bishop take... Uh, what are you talking about? I'm so confused. I mean, I'm a knight move. Maybe I'll lose the bishop? Maybe. No, no, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, no, you might have been right. Maybe sacking the bishop is better than sacking the knight. But I wanted the open g-file, because my point is, even though sacking the bishop is probably better, having that strong of a rook, I think, is some sort of compensation. I don't know if I would call myself good in this position. Uh, Kate, but... 
It's a piece for two pawns. Yeah, it's not a lost But he traps my queen, forcing the piece for two pawns. Yeah, I'm definitely not as bad as I was. That's for sure. This is definitely an improvement. But I just... Uh, my pawn structure, I don't love. I'm not going to lie to you. Not in love with my pawn structure. However, there's more to chess than pawn structures. So I think I, I, think I might have to be able to hold on. I mean, this doesn't look that bad, honestly. I don't like my position, but it's like winnable, you know? Gandhi did say that. And Gandhi was pretty smart. He invented nuclear bombs. Okay, my intention was to play f5. And finally start getting some play. Might be bad, but... Base Dane. Man, this doesn't look that bad. It's not good, but... My problem is honestly this. <laughs> like, unironically, B7 is the biggest issue in my position right now. Now, the question is just, does he have the positional... the positional skill to know that? It looks like the answer is yes, because that seems like a very good move. I want to play rook g7, that way I can take this, but the problem is I can't. Oh, that's nasty. Don't like that at all. It's a good move. <sighs> Poems playing good chess. Viewer's choice. Yeah, but then viewer's choice of what? That's the thing, Pixon. It cuts off, you know? Twitch doesn't show the entire title. And even if they did, people wouldn't read it. My intention was actually to play F4 here. I did not want to open the center anymore. <laughs> I, I'm I'm perfectly satisfied with my pieces uh with with this the way it is. That is just viewer's choice? Yeah, but then viewer's choice of what? You'll just keep scrolling. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what my gut tells me. I think I go down a pawn, but I have the G file at least. I might not have the G file for long though. What do I take with Rook? I suppose. Queen takes. Do you expect that? I think I can hold this. Maybe I can't hold this. Should I keep the queens on the board? I actually kind of think so. Uh, I don't think I can afford to on second thoughts. I don't have time for this.
don't like this position for you. I don't like this position for me either. Let's look at that. I don't have time. That's losing. Don't flag. Problem isn't flagging. The problem is the rook end game. Queen takes, pawn takes. Oh, well, I mean. This is just slightly better than uh, what was going to happen. He gave me a pawn, but more importantly, he gave me Tempe. That was a stupid move. I should have gone G8. What am I doing? Can you do anything? It's too passive. I don't have the time. I can. This is definitely holdable, but I just need more time. That was a mouse slip. Piece of junk. Piece of junk. Piece of junk. Piece of junk. Ah, that last end game was holdable. Well, what you gonna do? Yeah, but I think the way he did it was best. So that's fifty three now. Fifty seven. Okay, not terrible. Gained like nine elo. But see, that's the problem, right? That's one of the rough things about being this high rated and rapid is that you are more often than not playing people. After King C4, it wasn't, but before King C4, is that if you're playing with people who are uh, rated lower than you, which you almost always are, or you are super often, I played. I played one, two, three, ga four games, and I won three of them. I won three out of four, and I gained, like, one e one wins worth of points. One and a half. It's brutal. It's brutal, because I lost 11 ELO for that win. Playing people 100, 150 lower than their peak two, almost always. It's rough. It's rough. Is it my turn yet? Uh, let's find out. It's Cristiano's turn. Before King C4 was holdable, the rook end game was holdable. But I definitely misplayed that position pretty poorly. Or pretty pretty badly. Few too few too many bad moves in a row. Should I should I sign a challenge? Go for it, man. Yeah, which is pretty based, honestly. People say you need icebreakers. Why not make your name an icebreaker? Like, legally change your name to it's pronounced Jif, right? And then, like, go anywhere where your name is announced. You know what I mean? Icebreaker. What was your chess.com name, Cristiano? So make your name Jif. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, make your name Jif, and whenever anyone pronounces a GIF, correct them to say it's pronounced Jif. Thank you. Right? Start fights. Making friends. Imagine if God came down and said it's pronounced Jot. I have seen that tweet. That's a good tweet. It says my ma my challenge does not match the user's current settings. So I don't think I could challenge you. I think you made it so you uh, people that high rated can't challenge you. Or maybe it's just chest alcohol looking out. Sounds like an edifying experience. Exactly. It's a good tweet. It's an absolutely fire tweet. Classic. Okay. Now the viewer games begin. I mean, to be fair, I'm above 2150 for the first time in a while. So, it's not that bad. There's so many... There's so many good tweets out there. You just have to dig a little bit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Here we go. Do it, Kate. So that is inaccurate because I have knight g4. You have to play f3 first. Move orders, man. Knight g4, bishop b5. See, he's a move late. In this position, I can't play knight g4 because of bishop b5. But now that the bishop is off f8, in this position after bishop g5, bishop b5, I have king f8. F3 first allows queen b6. In this position? No, it doesn't. No, it absolutely does not. You get uh, you get knight f5 or something. You get knight f5, I'm pretty sure. Knight f5, and then you take on uh, g7. It's bad for me. F3 is the move order. Queen b6 does not work there. I'm pretty sure the move is knight f5 there, and it's much worse for black. Knight f5, I'm completely lost. I'll show you after the game. I can tell you f3 is the correct move. I don't know if queen b3, knight f5 is the correct refutation. However, I can guarantee you with 100% confidence that f3 is the move in this position. Yeah, it is good for black. Now, it's like very weirdly good for black. It's like nula, It's like zero, zero, zero. It's triple zeros. Bishop b5, king f8 is like triple zeros. It's very difficult to play. But it is triple zeros. It's super cool. It's a very fun line. Very hard to play for both sides though. You will lose immediately if you don't know what you're doing. I've lost I've lost those positions many times because I'm like, oh, this is good for me. And it is good for me, but I lost. It's very funny. Triple zeros is good for black, but it's again that it's triple zero is kind of good for black. It's not as obvious as it as it may may originally seem. Do it, Rexbor. They're just finished instant interview, so that's fun. How'd it go? How'd it go? Now I get bishop b7. I think I get bishop b7 at least. Ah, I'm a little more skeptical in my position. I think I missed some stuff. I still think I'm better, but... I don't think as it's, sim it's as simple anymore as I made it sound. Well, to be fair, in this position, I, I strongly disagree with b4. I think b4 is a very bad move. Yeah, there's no way b4 is a good move. 
Look at the C4 square. Oh. Couldn't ask for a better square. And takes with... Oh, I really expected takes with knight. No, this can't be right. Bishop takes e5. I'm not sure what I should have played instead in that case. What, like queen d7? Queen d7 might have been better. I could see that. Queen d7 to play rook c8 or then play takes. Could have been better that way. I could see it. Here, our queen b6 might have been better too. Uh, I think I should have played queen b6. However, the newspaper is only quite tabloid. So who knows? I was largely able to control the conversation I asked for. Quote control before it gets published, so I'm making sure they haven't quoted me wrong or anything. That's good. That's very important. That's super important. Yeah, Queen B6 was definitely better. It immediately threatened to win the knight. It just looked more active. But okay. The reason I played queen d7 is because low key I want to play e I want to play e6. <laughs> low key I want to play e6. Uh, you would have to join the queue, and then we'd be playing unrated Ahmed, which I'm totally okay with. But you would have to join the queue and play, like, other people in queue, because queen b6, e6? No, not e6. I'm saying queen b6. The reason I didn't play queen b6 is because I wanted e6 at some point. I'm explaining why I didn't play the move, even though it was a better move. No, because after takes, takes, uh, knight takes. And uh, it looks like it's attacking the rook. Maybe check here first and then knight takes? Seemed bad in my head. Maybe it's possible, because I guess I do take the... Uh... I guess I could take the rook there. That's what I missed. Still seems suspicious. I don't know. I'd be lying if I said I calculated it out, calced it out fully. Knight c4 might have honestly even been bad. I've definitely played this wrong. Don't mind suspicious? You don't mind a little sussy chess? No, knight c4 might have been bad. I should have played rook c8 first because the c file was incredibly strong. Now I can't really take the c file. His knights are too strong. I legit don't have the ability to take the most powerful part of the position, which is why a4 works. Not following? Rook c8 instead of knight c4. How do you defend this knight? Then I play knight c4 afterwards. I could play knight. I could play rook c8 with tempo and force the knight backwards. If it goes forwards, that looks terrible as well. Then this is bad. So it looks nice here as well. No, which rook? That's the problem. How how do I play rook c8? I can't play with this rook, and if I play with this rook, then the f7 square becomes really really weak. That's the problem. Which rook? <laughs> because I'm doing it later, the knight's still on c3, and because the knight's still on c3, I have big problems on b5. F. Then why can't he just play queen f7? Maybe I do that and I just play queen e8. 
This looks fine. We don't mind the F7 score? Sure. So that's that I want. I want to play like Queen A7 to go Knight takes E3. Well, yeah, but then A takes B. It takes E3 and then Rook A6. Yeah, big problems. Wait, hold on a second. What are you saying? I did not believe in this. Is he going to play knight c6 or something? Does that work even? No, nah, it's not. Uh, queen a7, a takes, knight takes. Maybe. doesn't work do I take the knight or do I take the rook I legit don't know taking the rook is like supremely greedy but I think he takes the knight here and that doesn't look pleasant yeah, I think taking the rook is wrong. I think I take the knight. After takes, my queen's guarding a8, which is critical. And I've got two pieces for the rook, I mean. Ooh, hold on a second. He might have tactics. No, he doesn't. Queen f3, I just take. I think rook xc6. Rook xc6 is definitely the move. I was just calculating bishop takes a8 to make sure it didn't work. It didn't work, definitely, but it's good to be sure of it. Because that's the type of move you don't want to work and not play. Rook x d5? I don't think so. I think rook x d5 didn't work. Because he just plays queen takes c4. And he's attacking the rook and the knight. I guess? No, 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 no. Rook c6, he gets rook a8. No, it didn't work. He gets rook a8, I think. I might be able to go bishop of 8 there. It's super scary. It's super scary. Take the knight on c6 with what, though? I guess queen? I don't know. I hadn't calculated it out fully. Well, he doesn't have a rook on the A-file anymore. Let's try and grab E3. Not really. So here's the plan. We take on E3. <laughs> or if he moves the pawn, we play Knight E3 anyway. Knight E3 looks like such a good move. Maybe it's not, but it just looks good. Knight E3? Yeah. This, this, and also blocking, and also cutting off the queen's defense of the e4 pawn. Queen f2, knight e3, queen f7. Oh yeah, if queen f2, queen f2, I don't play knight e3, obviously. Then I can play f5. Because see, here's the difference. Before, I couldn't play f5 because of knight e6. He doesn't have a knight anymore, so f5 is no longer scary. I like another move better? Probably. I played too much good chess. Now it's time for bad chess. 2157. I want to get back about 2200. I want to get to 23. Maybe then I'll trans. I'll start. I'll switch over to Blitz. I'm at exactly 1500 followers. Oh, that's super cool. I just realized that now. Well, I don't gotta. Blitz isn't the most meaningful thing, but. Low key, knight takes, rook takes, bishop takes, queen takes, uh, queen takes c2. Low key. I I like I like longer time controls more than shorter ones in general.
Well, I like playing title players, but not enough to play Blitz. I guess it would be bishop takes, rook takes, knight takes, queen takes, takes here. Takes on e7. You can't take on e7, so what would he play even? I feel like I'm just up a pawn there, yeah? No, I'm not. It doesn't work. Again, I love playing title players, but I like playing chess more. And no offense to all the bullet enjoyers out there, but bullet isn't chess. It's just not. It's a different game. And it's a, it's a game that requires skill. It really does. This is not a bullet skill list. No, that's, that would be mad because bad. But it's not. It's a different game. Mouse skills are so important in bullet. Because it's only half chess. It's half chess, half how fast can you move your mouse. Which is fine, but... I'm bad at moving my mouse. It's so APM reliant. Which, like, fine if that's the game you want to play, but... Don't try to convince me that it's chess, you know? No, the entire thing's about speed. Because if you don't move fast enough in the first 90 seconds, you won't have enough time to play the, any later position. Which means end games are down the toilet, except for intuition-based end games. There's no, there's no thinking in the end games, because you can't, you don't have time. So there's no thinking in the end games, which is like my favorite part of chess. And it's like 80% openings. It's just, it just, it removes everything I like about chess while maximizing all the things I don't. Well, it means 90 seconds because two players combined, right? So two players combined is 120. Hee 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 ha. I think he missed that. Yep, he missed that. <laughs> Well, yeah, but nobody plays two-minute bullet. Again, mouse speed is so important for bullet, and mouse speed is the weakest aspect of my online chess. Some play two plus one. That's true, but that's that now. That's base. That's really getting close to blitz. Because three zero is blitz, and if you play a sixty-move game of chess, then that's the same as three zero. So it's like. Really approaching, really approaching blitz there. So I'm telling you, f3 is the correct move. Queen b3 does not work. It's bishop b5. It's not knight. Knight f5 is good. Okay, knight f5 is good. I was right. Knight f5 is plus two. Knight f5 is like completely dominant. I told you knight f5 was good. It's not the best move. The best move is bishop check first. But this is second best and it's plus two. I'm telling you, queen b6 doesn't work here. I've played these dragon positions. I've played these dragon positions my entire chess career. After queen takes b2. Uh, knight takes g7 check. King f8. Knight a4. Or bishop d4. I like bishop d4 even better. This is completely losing. It's like miserable yeah if in other positions knight f5 is bad but this is mainline dragon in some accelerated dragons knight f5 is bad in some accelerated dragons i don't know the accelerated dragon nearly as well though so i can't really explain to you what's good or bad in the accelerated i i know that there are positions where you like don't want to play f3 or something 
Like in like in this position, maybe an f3 is bad because of queen b6, but even then, even then, it's like, yeah, here queen takes b2 works. But even here you could play e5. You just blood an e4? Oh, I'm sure I did, but my point is I'm not trying to I'm not trying to do that. My point is only I'm trying to just look at moves. I'm not So here it's even better for white. There are positions though where where queen b3 is good. I have played those and I have had positions where that's been the case. But I had a game where I sacked a queen for or I traded a queen for three pieces and won three pieces against the queen. And it was that sort of position where queen b3 happened. The king's house is not so good. Yeah, pretty much. But because I'm playing a classical dragon, you're a tempo up. Because I played d6 and I want to play d5. That's the weakness of the classical dragon compared to the accelerated. The accelerated, you don't lose this tempo. But the upside of this tempo is that now the bishop guards the b4, the g4 square, so now I'm threatening knight, b4, knight g4. Now, I can't play it here because bishop b5 check and I'm losing. Right? Because you can't block with knight or bishop because then I take this. And if you block with knight here, then I play knight takes c6, right? So horrible. But now after bishop g7, if you don't play f3 and do what, what you did in the game, bishop c4, now I can play knight g4. And after bishop b5, I can play king f8. Yeah, the classical dragon prevents the Maroxy, but loses the tempo to everything else. And now I'm king f8. And this is a very goofy position. This is a very weird position. And I don't know if knight takes e3 is the best. It might be. Sometimes there's other moves, but often you just play knight takes e3, and then you go like bishop e5, and you try to castle by hand. It's a very goofy position. But it's like triple zeros. How it's triple zeros, I don't know. But it's like, it's like, it's very, these are very weird positions. Very weird. But this is technically not bad for black, and if black knows his stuff, he can survive this pretty easily. And the end game is better for him because of these pawns. And so it's like, okay. It's com it's very sus. But it's sus for both sides because this is terrible in the end game. So black white has to win now. And if you give me a few moves and I stabilize, you know, I play knight c6. Uh, I play like a6, b4 at some point. And if I can stabilize my position, then I'm just going to win the end game, right? It's like, but in theoretically black can stabilize. Now, I don't even think you have to take on e3. Um, I think you can play bishop e5 first, which, like, wins a tempo, unless you give up the pawn, so it becomes, like, a pawn sack, so I think this is better. It's very interesting, but, it, theoretically, black does okay. Yeah. Now, the way you did it was slightly worse, because after castling, knight takes e3, pawn takes e3, I get to castle now. Does it seem like white should disregard it? Should be fine. Absolutely not. This is way worse. Because now I don't have any positional problems to solve. Right? In the position we were looking at before, in this position, I have some positional problems. This rook is terrible. My pieces are undeveloped. White's way up better developed than I am, and my rook is terrible, and my king is unsafe, because this F file, if it opens, is going to be a big problem for me. So I have some positional problems. I really do. But if I solve them, then I'm better. This position, I don't have any positional problems. And so I'm just better. <laughs> so again, f3 in this position is necessary. Queen b3 does not work because of knight f5, and you take a check. And it's very bad. This is very, very bad for black. Very bad. So after f3, I castle. And then after castles, you play queen d2. And now queen b3 doesn't even threaten anything. It is the only move after knight g4, yeah. But you just don't allow knight g4. This is already a mistake. You should not be allowing this. You should play f3 in this position. Just don't allow knight g4. Or you can also play the old line of bishop d2. This is a, this is the old line. This is playable as well. It's not as good, but it'll. You can play a rational game of chess like this. Yeah, no, you mix it up. What it is is it's f3. It's f3 castles queen d2 knight c6 and now bishop c4. And this is one of the three main lines of the dragon. Also call it another line. Yeah, it's one. It's like right on the fence. I really don't like dragon lines. I swear the king b1 main line is horrible for black. Oh, this one? Yeah, the main line king b1 stuff, you have to know your theory. You have to know your theory in these lines. It's rook c8 and king b1 here. This line is very difficult to play. It's the most challenging line. Black does okay. Black survives, but it's very challenging. It is the most theoretically challenging line in the dragon. Can I have a nice game? Oh, absolutely, Dane. But it is theoretically better for black, if black plays perfectly. 
I'm gonna castle on bishop c4. Oh, castles is not threatening at all. This is th now no no this this I disagree because I play d4 d4 d5 immediately here. You don't have time to play king b1. After castles long on move nine, it's d5 immediately, and we're good. Yeah, and then king b1, king b1 here. I take on d4, and then I take on d on e4, and this is completely fine for me. There's nothing wrong with this position for black. You can't give me the tempo, because I played d5 already. This is my threat. And I have no positional problems anymore. I've solved everything. I would rather play black here. It's probably objectively even, but I'd rather play black. King b1 is the line in bishop c4 lines, because you prevent d5. But in these castles long lines, king b1 is usually wrong. It's too slow. These castles lines are a lot more fast-paced. You're wrong? What do you mean I'm wrong? I've solved everything. What's my positional problem here? I fo I fixed my light squared bishop. I no longer have any central pressure. I have no attack. No offense. White doesn't play bishop takes e4. They play e5. Oh, here they play e5. Ah, fair enough. That makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. This still doesn't look that bad. I I still would rather play black here. I mean, objectively, I could like totally see why it's why it's even or maybe better for white, but I still like black in this position. You got to be a little careful about this, but if you're careful, then you should be fine. Right? I play bishop c5. Oh, you play bishop c5 here. Well, you can't really take the rook. Like black is used to play these kind of positions? Of course, yeah. But that's my point. Maybe you can take the rook, but I would be shocked if taking the rook was better for white. It's so rare that you take the rook in these lines. So rare. Maybe you can, but... D4 looks most obvious. Because you have to take... You, you, I mean, I guess you can't do anything else. Can't it's just an online. Yeah, but this doesn't look that bad. It's about equal? Yeah. That's what I mean. White has a lot worse than this. Like, if I'm a dragon player... If I'm a dragon player, white has a lot worse than this line. Like, the king b1 lines after bishop c4 are way scarier than this to me. Or the queen e1 line after castles long. Uh, or, or d5 queen e1. Those are, like, the two scariest. Or maybe that really that one line where you go into a slightly worse endgame. That one's also kind of scary. This is, like, fourth, fifth scariest line to me. As a dragon player. A lot of only moves. Yeah, but they're not that they're not that difficult to find, I don't think. Like none of these moves are pretty typical. Like knight b5. Yeah, well knight b5, knight e3, right? And then you go bishop h6. This is very standard. Like this is what I mean. These are only moves, yes, but they're kind of obvious only moves because they're very, very typical moves for the dragon. Knight e3, rook e1. No bishop h6. Maybe this is bad. Bishop h6 f4. Bishop takes. Again, maybe this is bad. I'm, I'm playing this kind of off the cuff. Then queen takes. Me like what? Your king is very suspicious. I'm trying to calculate like sacrifices and stuff.
Here you have to find 92, which isn't obvious at all. Yeah, but it's not obvious, but you should be looking at that in, th in that direction as black. Like, in Blitz, if you I saw this for the first time in Blitz, I would lose 10 times out of 10. However, I'm, I am I think I would find Knight takes C2 in Classical. Because this this is, a, again, these are all, these are not easy moves, but they're typical moves. They're like the kind of moves you're looking for in the Dragon. They're not easy, but they're in the spirit of the position. There's nothing, it's not like a Grunfeld where everything's anti-positional. These, these are moves that come to you if you know what to look for. Well, yeah, but then, like, that makes sense. But my point was, if white is going to study... How many moves? If White's going to study 20 moves of prep against the Dragon, I don't know why you wouldn't play a line that's like really difficult for Black, even if he knows all the theory. Here, if he knows the theory or if he finds it, he does okay. But in the King B1 lines, you suffer forever. Or the endgame lines. Or the Queen E1 lines. That's that's what I mean. It's, this is definitely like, I could see this getting scoring really well, but I'm kind of falling for this once, you know? Because now it's not easy for White either. This isn't exactly like Sunshine and Roses, you know? Yeah, bishop, bishop c4, king b1 is the engine lines nowadays, and it's the uh, and it's the most theoretically challenging line if memory serves. So bishop c4, like bishop d7, castles, knight here, bishop b3, rook c8, and then king b1. These lines are really difficult, because if you go for the normal plan and play knight c4, you're worse. You have to play like rook e8, and then in these positions you have to be like super duper precise. You have to be ridiculously precise here as black, or you will just lose. Because king b1 solves 90% of your problems as white, because you prevent the rook sack. Basically, king b1 prevents the rook sack. And once you prevent the rook sack, all of, it's way easier to just attack. And then the line that is also kind of fun, I score pretty well against it, but back when I missed, we're just discussing dragon theory, because you know it's my stream. And then there's also castles, d5, queen e1. This is a pretty fun line. Although, I'm going to be honest, while I love playing this line, I think that's part of the problem. And I don't think Black is suffering that much, if he knows what he's doing. Although, White definitely has better chances. This is this is also a very fun line. It's really... It's really just... It's like Bishop C4 or something. I do not play E4 as White, however, I do play into Sicilians. After knight f3, I play c5, I play e4, and I transpose into Sicilians. So, against the dragon, what I usually play is I usually play the bishop c4, king b1 line. Because it's just so hard. Sometimes I play this as well. It, it depends on what mood I'm in. But usually I go uh, bishop c4, king b1. Because it's just pain. It's just pain. It's the engine lines, you know? What is Wafflin? I always do. These lines are agony. Like, white scores, like, 62% in these lines. It's ridiculous. White's win rate, and again, in King B1, is 56% at Grandmaster level. 56% of the time, white wins after King B1. It's miserable. Now, given, it's not as bad after Rook E8, because Rook E8's only the second most popular move. Knight C4 is most popular, and that's miserable. That's horrible. You have to play, you have to know your Rook E8 rookie line, but even that's not easy. Usually, if Black Flight Square Bishop is closed, you can play Bishop C4, because you're not afraid of Knight C4. Yeah, but d6 opens light square bishop. It's point of rook e8. Um, you over defend the e7 pawn. One is you over defend the e7 pawn because knight d5 followed by knight takes e7 is often a tactic to win a pawn and go into a better endgame as white. Two, you free up the rook from f8, which means after bishop h6, in some lines you can go bishop, h bishop h8. And yeah, those are the two main ideas. And also, yeah, so you want queen a5, and also sometimes bishop h8. That's a little bit more rare, but it's now an option that white has to be ready for. Like, you don't go bishop h8 in this line, but it is an option. Like, theoretically, this is something you can try. Which, I mean, and since it's on the cards, white always has to know. It's 
for h5. And then knight g4. And these positions are difficult. And just how precise you have to be in this line. This is nearly plus one. And this is like mainline theory. Literally, this line is miserable. This is why people don't play the dragon. This line is why the dragon isn't played at Grandmaster level. Because dealing with this is like insane. Sometimes the other. This is the this is the reason why. It's because this is like plus one. This is horrible. Yeah. This is very difficult. Now, if you know your positions better than white does, you're going to win this, right? Because if you play better chess than white, you're going to win. It's not unwinnable. However, it's so hard. <laughs> like, you have to play king h7 here. What a psycho move. I forget which line Topalov is. I forget the names. Fix them. These lines are really an experience. They are. They are. An ex they are ma they're magic. That's what they are. They're something else. I'd have to look. I don't know. But has he played in classical? And again, white can lose these lines if they don't know what they're doing. It's not. It's not easy for white, but it's like. The B5. Yeah, but the B5 line is also pretty common. That's, uh, what what's that? That's, like, bishop c4, and then it's, like, knight takes or something? Knight c4, b5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, pl I played that. I don't like it as much. It's this line, right? No, it's not here. What move is it that they do that on again? It's right here, right? After bishop c4 immediately? It's very committal and very theoretical. It's here, right? Where's the line move earlier? Why? Yeah. But it's not here you play b5. Rook c8, bishop b3. Then c4. Right, alright, it's a few moves later. And then knight takes. Yeah, I used to play this, but there's a few lines here that I don't like either. I don't remember what they were off the top of my head, but I always felt like my winning chances were lower with this line, even though it's worse. Yeah, I saw you, my homies. I asked you why you upset at him. Or at least I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. I did in my head. I played this for a little bit, but... Hello, Bido. Bidu from YouTube. Anyway. I always... I always felt like... In this line, I had worse winning chances. Even if it's objectively slightly better. This is a sound wave, but it's also completely boring. I play the dragon because I want to win as white, you know? And I was white as black. But I've played it, and I think it was like this. This is the reason why I quit. It's because I looked at this and I was like, why am I playing a slightly worse endgame? Sound dragon is an oxymoron? True. Well, I mean, technically you're not supposed to let someone else play on your account either, so... I, uh, like... I'm not going to say you deserved it, but... He shouldn't have been playing on your account to begin with. Like, he shouldn't have had your account's password to begin with. Either way, I think this is why I quit. Because this endgame was miserable. Oh, he got device ban. I didn't even know chess.com did that. Based. Also, isn't it a thing that in this line, the new computer moves like knight takes c6? Is it here? Or is it a move earlier? After bishop d7 here, it's knight takes c6. I feel like there's a knight takes c6 line that's like a computer line or something. Maybe it was here. I don't remember. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. There was, I seem to remember someone telling me about some sort of computer thing that was happening with knight c6, which is why um, now after castles, 
it's starting to become more standard to play uh, knight e5 immediately to avoid like there was some sideline after knight c6 that was a problem it was something like this like this is a new move order because there's some line here that you want to avoid after rook c8 I don't remember. Maybe it was bishop e2 and then like knight takes c6. Well, not new. I mean, new in the sense that it's not in the database a whole lot. Because knight takes c6 was played like six times there. Anyway. HTML support? Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming you've already done that. Because usually, if I last I checked, if you admit to cheating, they'll give they give second chances. Cormax turn. If you admit to cheating. Oh, it's never worse. Look at that. I told you knight c4 is inaccurate. Bishop takes d5 is worse than. Try to play knight c4 immediately? No. Queen b6. Yeah, queen b6 first was the move. Oh, yeah, for sure. The Q closes, the the Q being closed will be shown in the title of the stream. And I'll like announce it when the Q closes. I'm very dramatic about it. You just type exclam join to join the Q penguins. Or is it penguins? Yeah, am I? Yeah, Q is only like three people. You type exclamation mark join. Because if you type exclamation mark Q, it shows the Q. No reason to apologize. You didn't mess anything up. It's just... Aw, uh, no 96. Sad. Oh, never mind. Cormac's going to win. I don't even need to tell you. This is already winning. Not because it's objectively winning, but because these lines are so much easier to play for white. And if black isn't playing the main most critical line, then that means he doesn't know this line. See what I mean? This isn't bad for black because it's objectively bad for black. It's bad for black because it demonstrates that black doesn't understand the positions. Yeah, no, no, no. Look at this. Look at this penguins, penguins. Me and Cormac have played this line so many times. Me and Cormac have played this line an obscene number of times. Okay, g6, b3, and then it's bishop h6, f4, f5. Look at that. Look at these lines, man. I love this line so much. It's so much fun. It's absurd. It's completely irrational. But it's so much fun. It's funny, me and Cormac have played this. Me and Cormac have played this like a billion times. I usually, uh, yeah, me and Cormac have played this like a billion times. Everyone is, yeah. But I don't really care. If I can play this more, then that's a good thing to me. It's funny, me and Cormac played this so many times. Once somebody played it against me, like, as I played this as black, right? Because dragon player, so I play into this as black. Somebody played the white version of this against me, and I smashed him objectively good too that's my point this is objectively good to do for black and for white it's like but there's a fight there this is a fighting game of chess so i don't, I don't even really mind but a lot of people still don't know this line it is getting more popular but a lot of people still don't know it and so you have people still playing like knight f6 here and like they're not going to get a losing position but they're not going to know how to play the position because if you play this like you would play a normal dragon you're probably going to get smashed because the tactics are quite different I got beat by Cormac so many times before I learned the bishop h6, f5 stuff. Queen d2, knight c6, f3, castles, e4. You're going to get a losing position, I swear, natural moves. White just crushes. That's exactly why. That's exactly what's so funny about it. You play naturally as black, you get smashed. You have to play, like, the goofiest chess imaginable. I mean, g5 being a bad move is kind of proof of that. Knight f4, knight g2, knight takes, bishop takes. 
knight b4. See, knight b4 is the most natural move in the position. But no, after a3, h4, it's already losing. Black is losing now. You think, oh, I played knight b4, he plays h3, I go knight back, I, pro I provoked a weakness. But no, it's completely losing. Completely losing. Now you got this wall of pawns coming for your kidneys. I'm for not great, so you just killed your attack. Yeah, but if you're black, you're think if you're thinking about this as black, I wouldn't play knight before there. To be, I wouldn't play knight before. However, the logic seems sound. You're like, okay, I go here, here, and now this is a weakness. Versus if I did this before, then again, it's a bad move, but it doesn't immediately look like a bad move, especially if you're a person who plays the dragon. So you think about this sort of thing often. Like, oh, bishop takes c3. Now if he takes a bishop, I take on a3. Right? It doesn't matter though. You die. It's not a great move. It's absolutely a terrible move. But it's like such a normal move to play on the dragon. No, it's just it's just too much. Ooh. Bishop c4 is disgusting. The entire position falls apart. The entire position falls apart. Five, rook f6, h takes, rook takes, queen h7 check. And then just resignation after bishop takes e5. Yep. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> that is a uh, valid time to resign. Hello. Radwan? Radwan? How close was I? Uh, from YouTube. Tom and Cormac W. These lines, man. Well, it's interesting. Knight e2 is better because you want to play g4 without allowing uh, knight, knight, uh, knight f4. Either way, pretty clean game on Cormac's part. Thanks so much, Penguins, for the follow. Dragon was like the first chess opening I ever learned, and I still like my favorite. I just there's so much there's so much chess to be played. For the record, when I when do I submit my game, it's, when I do submit my game, it's a horrible game. Oh, that makes it better. I'll get the game one second. You don't already have the game. Dragon players are always fanatical about it. Yeah, because here's the thing. Here's the reason dragon players are fanaticals. We're fanatics we're basically part of a cult because if we weren't part of the cult of the dragon we'd be playing the night orf because it's objectively better right <laughs> it's the same strength and weakness spread as the dragon same strength and weakness spread as the dragon but it's objectively better so like there's no there's no rational justification for playing the dragon as your main line so if you're going to do it yeah it has to be because you're part of a cult you know what i mean it's like flat earthers. You never meet a moderate flat earther. Because if you're a flat earther, it's like, it's completely opposite to reality. So you have to be a fanatic in order to be able to like, to in order to be able to continue with that aspect of your personality. You know what I mean? <laughs> flat earthers unite. <laughs> Venn diagram between flat earthers and dragon players is almost a circle. But it's just, there's a little sliver, right? There's a little sliver of dragon players that aren't flat earthers, and I'm in that sliver. Promises. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. You must be vegan, though. I'm not vegan. I I am. I am trying to see how, how things work if I don't use shampoo, though. And that's, and that's close enough. It's like the vegan of hair.
Here we go. So. When you, uh, where's this game from, Kate? If you don't mind masking. Game yeah, about my dad earlier. What to do with the large square bishop on a cat line? Sometimes I play like this in bits and it's kind of awkward. This game is 90 minutes though. It's feeling a bit sassy and I play like this, even though this game might not be an engine's favorite. I still like it. That's why I did one to draw, but I had five minutes. That's not an excuse. The dark square bishop is probably like the biggest question mark of the Catalan, and it changes every every game. Oh, the board game. And so you are white here, Kate, I presume. C4, E6, knight F3, A6, G3, knight F6, G2. C6. Okay, this is already wrong. I'm fairly sure in the A6 line you have to play D takes. A6, C6 is inaccurate because you want to play B6 after C6. So going for both A6 and C6 is redundant and is bad. No, dark squared bishop is very easy to deal with as black. It's the light squared bishop that's the problem as black. Kate's playing uh, white, and Kate's problem is the dark squared bishop, which is fair. Castles, knight bd7. Gray, true. That's hello, Dezo. Bishop f4. Bishop f4 this early is always a little suspicious. The bishop usually waits. The bishop, you don't develop immediately. I think the plan here, here is go knight bd2, queen c2, and then e4. I'm 99% to that's 99% sure that's the plan. Usually you do that in the in lines where they play c6 e6 There usually you go here here here, right? 90% of the time that's what you do Bishop f4 here Not as good Well, you don't have to wait till the get bishop gets developed because they've wasted the tempo with a6 So the main line is just better. You don't have to wait normally you do but you don't have to in this line because even if he goes for the bishop d6 stuff, it's, well, first off, you can go, you might be able to go knight fb. But even if you just do the standard stuff, it's still good because he's wasted tempo. He's a tempo down on the line. In the cat lines, you don't move the dark square bishop early. It's literally a main line. The black goes bishop b4, bishop d2, bishop b7, because the bishop is misplaced on d2. Exactly. The bishop stays here for now. Because the bishop does want to go to f4, but like you said, you allow knight e5, and yeah, it doesn't really do a whole lot on f4 immediately. This is, yeah, this is a better plan. Bishop of four is inaccurate. The bishop's not doing anything super productive. You're just wasting a tempo. Knight h5, okay. E4. I fundamentally disagree with this. Maybe one f4. One knight f3, Dezo. Join the dark side. But that's actually not the dark side, it's the light side, because one uh, knight f3 is has the highest win rate of all main openings. No way, come on. So this I don't like. And it's not that I don't like it because you're losing. I don't like it because I don't see what the point is. Like, you can say, ooh, I'm going to play with the open G file, but Dutch tempo up is still bad, I promise. What do you mean still bad? I play the Dutch. Hold on a second, penguins. Time out. Hold on. Insult the bird all you want. But now it's getting personal. I play the Dutch. Nice six and maybe E5. I stand with what I said. Oh, you don't get to. No, 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 no. Do you take that follow back? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't take the follow back, please. <laughs> I, to be fair, I just started playing the Dutch. Before that, I played the Slav, but it was so boring. D4, F5. I do play D4, F5. In fact. I, I do, in fact, I just started like three weeks ago. I'm not doing a playable move order. Because if you do a playable move order, then you get into bad lines. Bishop g5, 1 0. It's not that bad. Bishop g5 is not that bad. I'm more scared of the Staunton than I am Bishop g5. Gotham just plays the Dutch a lot. A lot of people play the Dutch. It's an opening. You can play it. It's difficult. It's like the dragon. It's like, eh, a little suspicious. Either way, this is not good, Kate. No, T takes isn't good for him either. But... Oh, he's giving you time. Never mind. You're good. Thought is objectively okay. Bishop G5 black and equalizing. What are you talking about? Bishop G5 is also objectively okay. You can play knight F6. You don't have to go for the H6 stuff. You can, but you don't have to. He doesn't play active. I mean, he just gave you free stuff. Do it, Cormac. H6. 
think I've changed one. You just got so many weaknesses. Potentially losing. It's not potentially losing. Don't be dramatic. Now you're being dramatic. Your mom created one. <laughs> Promise you it is? How it is it? <laughs> no, it isn't. Well, I guess every position is potentially losing, but I don't think that's what you meant. I have six, rook g1. I hate the way black is playing this position so much. Oh, come on, wrong way, Kate. Oh, it's not positionally losing. Wrong way, Kate. No, you want the bishop behind the queen. You want the bishop behind the queen to checkmate on h7. Thank you, Pixen. Appreciate it. Yeah, the on croissant's pretty cool, but um, it, the Linux version's kind of messed up. But the macOS version actually is much better than anything else on macOS. It's very interesting. Although, it doesn't support Leela Chess Zero. Like, at all. It's very funny. It's very clearly super early in development, so like, half of the stuff doesn't work the way you would expect it to. It's very funny. But I don't mind, because it's going in a good direction. Terrible black, I don't know what to say. Everything I've read has said that that's fine. That's a line. <laughs> Yufus, shh. Play a better online rapid thing with word classical. Maybe it's nerves. Oh, the Rust Library I heard about today. Yeah, I saw it. The Ratatouille one. Or Rustatouille. Mishap H3. King of H8. Rook G3. Oh, come on. G6, Bishop G7. The nice, yes. I don't think I am. Rook G8, Rook A G8. Exactly, have fun. I'll try. I haven't had any time to learn more Rust though, man. The midterms are killing me. Queen C7. Oh. Okay, this bishop is doing nothing. This is the worst piece on the board. This bishop is the worst piece on the board. This This cannot stand. You cannot play chess like this. Waste of a tempo. Finally! I don't even care that's not good anymore. Finally. Oh. Now this is scary. Now we're talking. Any times and white wins 48%. Maybe I'm mixing up my lines then. Maybe it's h6 then knight 6 No, it's knight 6 Now we're talking. Okay, I was about to say, 180 sounds low. I might look into g6. I don't know. I'm still very early on in my Dutch journey. So maybe maybe I'll switch and play g6 move 2. I haven't looked into it super deeply. I'm going to be honest. Big 7. Oh. Endgame is very winning. This is such a winning endgame. Don't give me a butt. Not in this position. Why? Very much right, man. Check it out. Because you really aren't supposed to allow bishop to 6 the whole point bishop g5. There you go. I'll look into it. Again, very early in my Dutch journey. I was very afraid of trying. Why would you play e6? Why? You double your own pawns. This is horrible. No, but this is unforgivable. This isn't like a, ooh, I'm low on time mistake. The first thing you calculate is what if he takes. And if he takes, you have to take back and you double your pawns. It's very concretely terrible. This is bad. This is just bad. You push the other one. The other one is what you push. I think it's going to g6 first. I just, I don't care. Like, I literally don't care.
this is no. This is not how you do that. This is this is wrong. Okay, this is the first thing you calculate is what if he takes. If this rook is terrible, his king is terrible. You play d6. And he can't afford to take on a2 because then you can you're pretty you just play rook d1 and then uh h7. He has to go rook a8. And then you just walk your king in, and there's nothing he can do. You just that's, that's not it. Not it. You push the other one. You have a passer. He can't do anything. He's stuck. It's so pretty. D6 is so anti. Drill on time. I mean, this definitely isn't the. I don't know. I've never played Master of the Command moves like E6. No, you can play Committal. I, I'm not even sure I agree with that, but it, regardless, E6 just is so anti positional. H5, sure. You have to preserve the connected passers. Now I blunder a draw. E6 was the move that blundered a draw. I know objectively white is still winning here. However, you made it a million times harder for yourself. There was no reason for this whatsoever. You play D through 6 or you just play A3. You just play A3 and say, guess what? You can't do anything. I need to stop. I need to take some drops. The pawn. G6 and stuff. But you don't care about dropping the pawn. The pawn keeps them trapped. No, no, no more time. You play the, you play the brain dead move. A6 is brain dead. If you're low on time, you play brain dead chess. You don't, no calculate, there's no counterplay. What does he do? What's the next move? No counterplay. What is he going to do? Rook D8, you play D6. Okay, Rook D8 doesn't work. Rook E8. Okay, now maybe you play E6, because now he's wasted tempo. Or just Rook G5, no counterplay. You see, the thing is, the reason this position is winning is because Black's pieces are all stuck and Black can't do anything. And so if you just prevent him from making moves, you buy yourself time to think. A3 is automatic here. If you're low on time, you play A3 and you wait for them to make the next move. And while that, you calculate. Do you remember me? Gabe is smarter? I remember the name Gabe is smarter, but I don't remember too much about you, if I'm being honest. I do remember the name, though. Really like Black's Fiend Counter Rook. It's very funny. You played me? I believe it. He still made it on purpose. I believe that too. It's very active. Yeah, no, if it's so good for a bishop, rooks are stronger than bishops. So, if a fian cut bishop is the strongest bishop, and rooks are stronger than bishops, then a fian cut rook must be the strongest piece on the board. Logic. D6, H5, GX, H5. This is so sad. You walked into this rook end game. We talked about chess books. Which chess books? Better than queen? Oh yeah, of course better than queen. That goes without saying. Queen and queen is not the best move. Uh, wait, were you like an 1800 Gabe? Or is that a different person with a G at the start of their name? Positional chess and end games greater than tactics, 1200, 1200. Yeah, no, okay, the 1800 was a different guy with, with a G in front of his name. Yeah, I think I remember you. I think I do now. I, I, it's coming back to me. Was that the weird stalemate where the position was like super closed and I just pushed one side of the board? It was like the reverse London thing, was it not? Yeah, 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 it was the reverse London and I pushed on the queen side and opened it up. It was objectively a draw, but you messed up somewhere and let me push like the A pawn further than I should have. Yeah, it was a bad pawn push. You like played b6 or something. I think I remember. Yeah, that's your problem. That's your problem, Kate. Kate, you just you prevent counterplay. You buy yourself time. That that's absolutely a winnable position by you. Not a winnable position in general. A winnable position by you. You were able to win that game. So taking advice again, 100 yield. Hey! 
you're welcome now give me all of the elo i want a 50 percent share of all the elo i helped you gain <laughs> i'm a businessman okay i coach you you gain elo you give me half elo <laughs> fair deal <laughs> Imagine, uh, the most based coach of all time. <laughs> Pay me an ELO. <laughs> Sacrifice ELO to me. I'm really glad it's working out for you, Gabe. ELO sec, exactly. Any advice for me, I want 100 ELO. I don't know what ELO you are, Penguin, so... Danish turning offer to put my game. Yeah, got you. Got you, Kate. I'm at least 1100. Oh, thank you. I'm guessing he's 2200. I'm guessing he's 1150. <laughs> I'm joking. Obviously, he's either the world's best red 1150 or he's better than I am, and I've been disrespectful this entire time, which is probably the funniest thing. That that would be funniest, but. Yeah, I believe Naoda left. Well, it's Dane's turn. In 1295. Make 2200 chess.com. 1925 feet. Hey, look at that. You're right on the money, Dane. So you watched me hit 1300? Based. Oh, no, it wasn't Dane. It was Dezo. Sorry, Dezo. Dezo was right on the money. Yeah, I've hit 2200chess.com before. I just dropped it. Day knows me somehow. Yep. Do you want me to go quickly over two games? Sure, Dane. Should I be worried? Uh, yes. That is, if you don't mind, that is if you mind having guests in your walls. If you're a good house, if you're a good, not house, if you're a good, um... If you if you have good hospitality, then it's not a problem, because you'll just... Like, you know, play pleasant music with good bass for the people on your walls, but otherwise. <laughs> I am a good house. I'm not gonna. He can live in the walls if he pays rent. Now we're talking. By the vertical square foot? How can a Wait. Yep, I have the game here. I pulled it on on... Uh, I pulled up on Chesscom because... Partner. Were you white or black? Mr. Dane. This is my own game now? Yeah. I think c4 is wrong here. It's supposed to be the knight of three and then c4 if you want to go for that line. I was white? Okay. He didn't take on g2. That's kind of shocking. That's kind of just a free pawn. c4 is really bad. Yeah. Again, if you want to play that line, you can, but you have to play knight of three first. It's knight of three, then c4. And I like this line a lot, but it is it, it is knight of three first. Otherwise, what happens will happen, and uh, you're just kind of down upon. So, c4, good idea. Knight of three first. Anyway, c4, queen e4, bishop e2, e5, knight of three, knight c6, knights. Okay, castles. Six, knight c3. Now play d4. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay, okay. So, little hick up in the opening but now we've now we got a really good position yeah d4 is interesting 
Although, I don't think taking is best. Because after taking castles, evidently you can play knight takes c6, but this looks difficult. I don't feel like dealing with this, I'm going to be honest. I mean, it works, but... We like d4? d4 I like a lot. But I'm not sure you should play knight takes if you're not ready to sack the queen. So, with that in mind, knight d5 immediately suggests itself. And I would, I would rather play knight d5. He can't afford to take. If he castles, then you play like bishop d3 or maybe a bishop f4. Or just like a queen b3, something like that. I think it works out. It probably works out. It does work out if you sack the, uh, sack the queen. But unless you're ready to do that, this seems more natural. Because this looks scary, man. You have so many moves here as white. That are good. Now, evidently, bishop d3 is best. But it just, like, literally, this is probably fine. It's not good, but it's probably fine. This is probably fine. This is fine. This is fine. There's a lot of totally good moves here that you can play. But I just... The here, it's you put yourself on a narrow path. Now, bishop three is bad because you just kind of concretely lose a piece. I mean, I guess you have to go here. I was thinking of playing c5, but I think c5 doesn't work. You have queen a4. Am I scared? I don't know if I'm scared. And it says it's fine. This doesn't look fine. Oh, that's how the game went? Bishop c5 looks not fine. Because now we do it like this, which is way better. Because now queen a4 is not nearly as scary because you've got one piece in the attack. And the one piece is not real. Yeah, no, I know. But I'm just saying bishop c5 is better. But c5, I still... Okay, well, uh, he played rook takes. Now, that there's your problem. Well, there's your problem. Rook takes is not a good move. If you want to take, then take with the c-pawn. Open your bishop. Rook takes is not right. I'm back in 1300 now. Based. Congratulations. Yeah, no, rook takes is very wrong. Rook takes is very wrong. Bc5, bishop takes c5. Yeah, but that's scary. Want to see the game? Yeah, you can send it after, but I have the queue, so I have to go in line, as you know. Uh, but afterwards, I'd love to see it. Like, after the queue. After, like, the last person. Thank you. Anyway. This doesn't look fun. I mean, it's Lasker comp, right? A piece of rook. You don't even have a pawn. It's just a piece and a rook for a queen. Yeah, this is not fun. This is worse. Maybe losing. Probably not. <laughs> Because your pieces are very well placed, but maybe. Anyway, but he took with a rook, which is terrible. Knight b5. I like knight b5 a lot. I know bishop f3 is better. Bishop f3 is definitely better, but knight b5 is just so rational. Oh, yeah, kill him. He deserves he deserves death. Engine size is minus zero, 08. Yeah, but playing that position with white is way harder than playing with black. I would not recommend it. And I think the engine will say it's worse as time goes on. That's just the first gut instinct of the engine. King d7, knight takes d4. And now it's just brutal. Now he's just getting murdered. Good stuff. Okay, so what are my criticisms? First, 1c4 here. 2, like whatever. Move 3c4, not good. If you want to do this, absolutely. Hard drive instinct, true. No, the hard drive instinct would take forever. That's like the RAM instinct. The 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 cache instinct. That's what it would be. Cache instinct. Well, six moves? Oh, then in that case, send it, Gabe. If it's like six moves long and it's just a celebration, then yeah, 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 send it. Victory lap. There he still says 0 0.8. Is this online stockfish or is this offline stockfish? Because online stockfish... Is it the newest version? Is there using the stockfish 16? I don't know. I think they are now, but... 
I'll look at it in just one second here. So yeah, C4 here is not good. But yeah, you shouldn't be celebrating minus 0 0.8. That's almost minus 1. And that's not like a thing to celebrate against the Scandinavian. You know? You shouldn't be celebrating a slightly worse position as white against the Scandinavian. Black should be celebrating a slightly worse position. It's the Scandinavian. You know what I mean? Especially with this dominant of a position. With this, again... Just, there's no reason. Just play 95. There's no reason to give him the pin. You want to keep the king in the center and keep him from developing. And this does a very good job of doing that. It's a forced win for black, I promise. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yes, it is. Everyone who's going to play me in chess, play the Scandinavian. It's a forced win. I'm very bad against it. Anyway. That was a pretty finish, though. I'll give you that one. And you definitely did outplay your opponent. I gladly play in Scandi. Well, yeah, well, that's because you're a better chess player than I am. That's not fair. <laughs> although, to be, uh, although, to be fair, I would also be happily play you in the Scandi because I, I, I don't believe in the Scandi. I am, an, I am a certified Scandi hater. It's not still chess. Just as dubious as the dragon. The Scandi is worse than the dragon. I will I will stand back. Stand I will stand behind the dragon being better than the Scandi. I'm not gonna argue that this dragon is the best opening in chess. Don't get me wrong. But it's better than the Scandi. Come on, don't be like that, man. The dragon at least plays for the win. The Scandi plays for the loss, even. I'm not sure the Scandi plays for the draw. All right, wrong link. Yeah. So I was wondering, this is a little longer than eight moves. But I was like, hey, I was just exaggerating. Well, again, that was pretty decent. Still chess. What do you mean pretty decent? You played c5 move 3 against the Scandi and blundered a pawn and your opponent didn't take it. Immediately. Right at the start. I was analyzing it out of good faith, but man, I didn't want to say it, but come on, you blundered a pawn on move 5. And a very bad pawn. That was that's my bad? No problem, man. Wait, am I up? No, Kate needs to show, show a game real quick. A short, and I'll analyze it quickly. And then, and then I'll be you. Didn't wonder I sacked it. Of course, of course. No rush, don't worry. There is a rush. A big time rush. Uh 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 uh. uh. <laughs> really? Uh, free. Free, <laughs> you know what? No, you know what? We'll take those. <laughs> we will take those. Hello, pigeons. You know what? You, you, you know what? Sure. I would lie. I would be lying like a rug if I said I would not totally take that as white. I, I would take that every day of the week. <laughs> it's always those types of games that get you your rating goals. It's never like a long, grindy, legendary win. It's always like your opponent just gives you a piece. And it's like, oh, that's kind of lame. I have it, but now it's like, I don't know. We take those. We take those. Every day we take those. We take those and we don't give them back. Hydrate, true. Exactly, Kate. Oh, penguins, your takes are getting worse as time goes on. And that's impressive because they started pretty bad. Okay, what? Posture check? Sure. My posture is already pretty good. I don't even know what I'm supposed to improve.
First tournament, 2nd of January, any tips? 2011 Rapid. It's a 10 plus 5 tournament. Play to learn, not to win. It's so hard over the board, and it's so stressful. But, and I would also recommend, if you can, playing some of that time control over the board with friends. Um, just because you're getting used to playing over the board, is it's a, it's a different feeling, you know what I mean? Offer job remove, hope that helps. Ignore him. He doesn't speak for us. Well, I couldn't make it better. My posture check, my posture is already sublime. Stonewall, Poggies. I always have problems with Stonewall, not gonna lie. So he takes, he takes. This knight on e4 is just such a, oh. Oh. Hollyosums. This is what they're doing, dude. A guy from a neighboring city. He's like a twenty-two hundred fide, and the stone wall is his main repertoire with black, and it's miserable playing against him. It's horrible. It's absolutely miserable. But this is very bad, Kate. This is like very, very bad. You're giving him everything he ever wanted. Stonewall players would commit felonies to get these sorts of positions reliably. Many, many felonies. Like an absurd number of felonies. Yeah, I get this. They would commit tax fraud, but instead of lying about paying too few taxes, they would lie and pay more taxes to get this sort of position reliably. What's your score against him? Uh, bad. <laughs> bad. I've beaten him like twice ever. No, that's not true. I've beaten him three times ever. It's quite bad. I have like 15 games, 20 games, more than that, maybe. It's bad. He, he's a better chess player than I am. I've, my score's gotten better. I have been improving, but it's... F3? Oh. Queen H5 was even a little soon. Like, maybe something like this, even. I don't know, maybe it's a bit too soon as well. Oh, you probably just do the stonewall thing and kill him. Yeah, I know. What am I saying? It's a stonewall. You go for a throat. And E takes... See, he relieved a lot of the pressure way too soon. Look at that. Psycho chess. Anyway. F3 looks nice. Yeah, allowing F3 was a little unnecessary on Mr. Stonewall's part. Or K8. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. Queen G5. Again, he's playing quite inaccurately. H5. BXC, BXC, crazy too. If you survive, then you're winning, but that's an if. H takes. Wait, you can do that? Just barely. Shh. Sheesh. No, 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 this makes sense. This makes less sense. No, no, this may this makes sense. This I get. I don't like bishop e4 check. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. There you go. That's just Kate. Yeah, that's just Kate. She's got personality. Oh, check first feels suspicious. But, I mean, in either case, it doesn't matter. Bishop f5, rook takes f5, maybe? Uh, I don't trust that either. Bishop f5, rook takes f5. I don't trust that at all. Rook takes. Now, do you take with bishop or rook? If you take with bishop, I go to g8, and it's easier. And if you take with rook... 
I got rookie six. Because you don't have any double checks. Both double checks are blocked. I'm threatening to just take the bishop. And my rook's no longer hanging, so I can play g6 now. I mean, I don't think... I don't know. It gets hard to play white in these positions, I feel like. Either way, g6, and now it's just completely losing. That's nice. Knight f4. We should take g6. Oh, that's nice. You deserve to die in the opening, Kate, but luckily your opponent didn't know how to how to checkmate he forgot that checkmate was the goal of the game and instead decided to move his queen 12 times however once you survive the opening you killed him and the queen sack was very nice got 92 percent accuracy played like a 260 i believe this was playing like a 260 in fact i, I actually do believe that like not playing i have four here is suspicious too i don't like working for either but no Now it's your turn, Ping Wing. You, like, taking was not good. Taking this was already suspicious, but taking that was just bad. You can't give your... You can't give a um, Stonewall player this much to kingside space. It's the entire point of the opening. Oh, my game is so much worse. Now I'm concerned. Bye, Kate. The stone wall, the whole point is black goes for an attack while making long-term positional weaknesses. Yeah, selling a piece in the opening. Is it an IM? Nice. I was white. Okay. You lied. You're not 2200. You're 2198. How dare you to lie to us like that? I, I, my trust in internet people is forever diminished. I can't believe I can't believe this. I can't believe someone would lie on the internet. Oh no, he's twenty two hundred blitz. It's fine. Never mind, guys. We're okay. Trumpowski. See, I never lie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Such a fibber. Exactly. Danish. Get out of here with that rational benefit of the doubt nonsense. We are creating drama, okay? And you can't create drama if you try and interpret people's statements in a meaningfully good way, okay? That's not how drama works. Clearly, you're new here. Never seen C5D5E6? I mean, this just looks like a weird Bononi. E4 looks like, uh, again, you play like a Bononi. Ah, Knight C3 looks weird. I, I kind of want to play c4. I don't know if it's good. I guess it's not good because of bishop e7. Maybe you take... I don't know. Maybe bishop e5 check. I don't know. See more banana structures? You want an eye on c4? Well, usually you play c4. That way when they take, you take with the c-pawn. In Bononis, you take on you take with the c-pawn. That's what I mean. I don't know if you flop... We don't flop the cooperative principle. Three bishop seven bishop five check. Three, seven. So you don't play c4 to keep the pawn c4. You always take with c4 pawn. But I, I guess in this position you don't even do that. Okay. You take c4. Yeah, but see that's the difference. This isn't a Bononi, right? Because in a Bononi, black would take earlier, but black can't really take in this line because then you get knight knight takes earlier. So that's the difference, right? The reason this isn't a Bononi. It's because in a Bononi, you would take this. But here, you can't take because knight takes, queen takes, knight takes. Or bishop b5 and then knight takes. Right? So that this isn't a Bononi. I don't know if it's still line, But the point is, this isn't a Bononi anymore because he can't take on e5. On d5. So 
It's complete. It, it, that's the DNA difference. That's what the big problem is. Anyway. Yeah, but in the Benoni, you play Knight of Six later. Like in the Benoni, if we go to like, oh no, in the Benoni. In the Benoni. See, the knight's not on c3 yet, so you take here, right? And the knight doesn't get to d5. In, on, in the old Benoni, and I have six. You've not played d6, so your tempo better? No, I guess this is a line of the old Benoni. So I guess that's what it is. We transpose we transpose to an old Benoni line. Which is slightly different. Wait, did I send you my game? Yes, but I'm not looking at it yet because it's not your turn, I don't think. Unless I can't read. So we've transposed into a weird line of the old Benoni. Yes, you were Dane. Check which one it takes out, please. Was the pawn sack intentional? Somebody's do apologize, pigeons. Oh, I hate castling. You gotta, you gotta at least try, man. No, this opening was intentional. You know what? Fair enough. Have a nice day. Yeah, I think you gotta try this. Oh, nice. The fact that's like plus one here, because then you have. Okay, okay, hold on a second, penguin. I know you have queen h5, but you played queen takes d6. You didn't play queen h5. You have it, but you didn't play it. That's not how it works. I didn't say queen b6, but you don't even have to play queen b6. I went for the comp. But you have no comp. You only have cope. You only have compensation. Unless he plays knight c6. Why I mean, even like bishop d6 looks better than c6. Bishop d6 is definitely bad, but. I see the comp. Now I see the comp. I no longer see the comp. I now see the comp. Now this is like. This is what I like to call a heart rate monitor game. C3. Oh. This doesn't work. Wait, queen. Yeah, you can't play C3. Try like that. Yeah. Should D6 would not win a queen. King F7. And somehow he survives after bishop D6. Because of the tempo. And so you have to play queen E4. That way after king F7... You could play c3 and there's no bishop d5 d6 with tempo. I mean, I think queen e4 is a more natural move as well because you want to keep the queen off the square of your uh, opponent's bishop. But so it makes sense to me that queen e5 is a mistake. Queen f5, but he does not play bishop d3 d6. Queen d4 threatens knight c7. Well, yeah. And queen takes g7. Well, I don't think queen takes g7 is a meaningful threat. Because again, king f7 stops that and stops. King f7 stops both, though. I guess that the problem is king f7 was missed, which well, king f7 is hard to see, to be fair. I'm not sure I would have seen king f7. Oof. And now it's done. Rook fd1. I love these sorts of moves. 95, 96. Queen takes f6. Now that's a nice move. Oh, come on. Come on. You should have played the prettier one. Why did you play queen takes? Why did you play queen takes g7? Why? You should have played queen takes f8. This is so much prettier. Look, the king is traitor. He's got traitors. 
Queen takes f6 is nice. Queen takes f6 is really nice. But no, you should have taken the queen. You don't even take on g7. You take here. And then you have this little funny looking structure. This very goofy, silly structure. No, but queen takes f6 is super nice. I like it. I will atone for my sins. <laughs> yeah, this is a crime against chess. Cristiano. Cristiano, I do not think is here. Okay, Q empty. Okay, that means I'll look at your game pigeons. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Scrolling, scrolling. Yes, uh, that should be the conclusion. I believe it. I mean, I beat an FM by hanging a piece in classical. I beat an FM by hanging a piece in classical. Now, FM and IM is a bit of a difference. But I think the classical makes up for it. Yeah, I hung. I wasn't 1600. I was lower rated than that at the time. At the time, I was like 1300, 1400. Was it rated? Absolutely, it was rated. <laughs> no, but I, I'm technically, I'm 1600 classical. But like, low key, I'm way better than the 1600. And I gain ELO every time I play in a tournament. Got to hand this title in. You got you to gotta give it up after that one. Give me a second. Let me put Three out of eight. I don't think I'll be an FM three out of eight, but um, seven, eight, four, seven. Search. It was earlier this year, I think. It should have been earlier this year, right? wasn't that one it was not that one it was not that one either 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 maybe it was last year no it's not showing all of them okay give me a second Oh, we'll do it like this. Yeah, okay, here we go. I think it was here. Let me see if I can find this game. Show details. It would have been round four, I think. It would, and here we are. It was round four. I am correct. Oh, I have the game. Found the game. Yeah, he was an old FM. He was like 80-something. But, I don't care. I missed my turn? Uh, no. I think your turn... Maybe I, maybe you did. Maybe I, I accidentally skipped you. No, I think you... I don't think you rejoined Q, Cormac. Anyway. Now we're looking at a game by Pigeon. Jobava London. Now we're talking. And this is the fun police variation <laughs> of the... of the... of the... Jobava. CXD4. CXD4 that quick seems weird. I'm blaming myself either way, but it was definitely cute. Okay, well, in, in that case, I might have accidentally skipped you. We'll do yours next then. Oh, well, not next, but the one after next. Because I want to show the game where I lost a piece to an FM first. Queen d2, knight f6, knight e5, bishop b4. Knight takes c6, bishop takes b takes c6, a3. No knight e4? I think four is inaccurate. What's better? Queen e3? Queen e3 is better because it allows bishop d3. Queen d3 um, locks the bishop in, which isn't as fun. The queen e3, and also, yeah, so you want to be able to play bishop d3. 
94 is inaccurate? Yeah, because of Queen E3. Bishop D2, Knight takes D2. And see, that was unnecessary. He had some time. He could have played this first and tried to take full control. See, it's the subtleties that are often lost. You have to be real subtle in these positions. Give me the line. What do you mean give me the Which line do I give you? G6, castle, C5, queen E1, C4, bishop E2, queen D8, queen D2. You have to prefer black here. This, these old pawns are so weak. Yeah, that makes sense. Pigeons. Queen e3 line. Well, queen e3 is better just because you're going to play bishop d3 and then take the knight. It's not bad per se, but now what do you do, right? First time I'm going to take this. So you have to go either queen a5 or you have to take. So which one do you want to do? Both make like equal sense to me, but I don't know which one you would we would consider the most critical. I think queen a5 is most critical, but they both have logic. Apparently not good. Yeah. So would you rather queen a5 or would you rather bishop take c3? Which one do you think looks scarier? Queen a5, I think? Okay, queen a5. Queen a5. Bishop d3. And then takes, takes, queen takes. King e2. And this is the worst piece to ever exist in the history of chess. We've done it. We found the worst piece ever of all time. So the computer is giving computer like, like a5, bishop a6 and trade. You don't have time for that. The knight gets trapped. The quarter point bishop? True. You can't do this because I tempo the queen. And if you try and be sneaky, then the knight hangs. Not immediately? Okay. Then what do you do immediately? I'm threatening c3 and your knight's trapped. Well, not trapped, but I guess you can go to f6. So that looks terrible. Then what do you play? Like castles? Castles looks bad. Bishop d6. Bishop d6 is psychotic. Bishop d6 is psycho. That's insane. Bishop d6 and you like rotate to b4. Whoa. I would play f3 because I'm I'm basic. Quarter point bishop is right though. I would just knight f6 immediately. Okay, if you play knight f6 immediately, then rook hb. No, rook hb, sorry. Rook hb. Not sure why rook hb. And bishop d6. If you don't castle now, I play bishop d6. And looks like your queen's getting trapped. Maybe not. I have to play queen a5. So I get a million tempi. But I wouldn't play that though. I wouldn't play that. Uh, Rook HB looks very difficult to find. Honestly, just F3 right now. And your pieces are terrible. Forget they're trapping the queen. You Your pieces are horrible. Bishop D6 is not a free bishop because after castles. Uh, if you play Bishop D6, after castles, it's not a free bishop. Because I can play Bishop takes H7 and I uh, take the queen. Which is why I said it's psychotic. But knight f6, I play c3, and your pieces are all terrible. So I have compensation for the pawn. I have more than compensation for the pawn. And you can't castle. So you can't castle, and your pieces are garbage. And if you go f5, sorry, not f6, f5, then I just play, I think I can play f3 anyway.
Knight f6, bishop d6. Same second verse, same as the first. Yeah, just same thing. Crazy. That's that's inhuman though. That's really hard to see. But I I was thinking queen e3 just because I don't want to close in the bishop long term. I was not thinking that complex. But I guess the problem is that you want to play queen d bishop d2. So I get it. It's more human. I don't think a human could really see queen e3 unless you're a much stronger human than I am. Although I'm going to be honest, I would want to trade queens here. I'd want to get pieces off the board because maybe if we trade queens, yeah. Which is because maybe if we trade queens, then I can prove that this bishop's terrible and I can get rooks on the b file faster than you can. Because if black, if white, if um, black manages to get rooks active faster than white does, you're going to lose. So I think queen takes is better because in this position, you're just inviting problems. Like c5, ugh. And now it's just terrible. You can never break anything. Black's in full control. Black controls the pace of the game, which you don't want. Here, rook b8, then bishop a4. It's, queen takes c3 is definitely better. Queen d2, f5. f5 is definitely horrible. In this position, black has, count them, zero weaknesses. The worst thing about this position is that this bishop's kind of trash. But you can do this, and it'll be better than white's. And that's all you need. So queen d2 I don't like. Control the b-file. Do not let him control the b-file. The b-file is the most important thing in the position. Queen d2, I play, I play rook b8. Here, bishop d7. And again, um, I'm not going to say black's winning, but black's the only one who can win. Yeah, both bishops are terrible, but this one's terribler. Because this at least has some long-term thing it can pretend to attack. It's probably a draw, but I'd rather have black. Either way. F5 is terrible. Rook AE doesn't make a whole lot of sense because remember, the B file is important and the A3 pawn is important. So the two things in this position that are important are over here for your rooks. So if you want to target this, that's fine, but you need to deal with your F rook so this rook can uh, make sure he's doing his job. Playing this is bad because this rook's not doing nothing. And you see that in the game. Rook E1, Rook E8, Bishop F3, Rook E2 h3 bishop a4 and he gave you the e6 pawn i can't be right it is what it is true rook c2 and then queen h6 and he lets you into the position faster than he can get in that was very much a mistake rook a e and you come to life and now if he tries to do something goofy like this you might even be play bishop d5 at some point Called it. Rook takes c3, rook e7, and it's just bad. It's bad. And that was a pretty way to end it, though. Now you should be faster to respond. Nice. That's a that's a nice way to finish it off. Just. I this is I. This is a very simple checkmate, but it's so aesthetically pleasing. It's like the way it ended. I agree. It is a very pretty ending. I'm closing Q because I have two midterms tomorrow and I'm going to die. No, wait, we're looking. It's Cormac and also the game I play against the uh, FM next. Not, not actually, uh, not actually Dane. So wait, I had the black pieces, and this was back when I was cringe. This was before I started playing the Dutch, and before my Slav theory was good. So this was right when I picked up the Slav. So it was very bad. Oh no, this wasn't even a Slav. This was me playing my anti-London prep and getting hit with the Jobava type of stuff. And I played a6, he played h3, which is definitely bad. Play knight c6. Knight f3. Bishop f5. This move was not the best. Dxc5. And here's when everything went wrong. I was thinking about e6, 
but I didn't like knight d4. And I thought, oh, I'm just a pawn down for the rest of time. Which, to be fair, kind of am. And I was actually even more afraid of, like, that. And it looked painful. And I was like, this I'm never going to win this chess game. I do not want to play this against an FM. I don't want to play this against anybody. I don't want to play this against my little brother. I'm not this place. I'm not a pawn down, but this is a forever week. My opponent's got the bishop pair, and I just thought it looked miserable. I was wrong, but I thought it looked miserable. Queen d3 castles long, if you'd like. Not forever. I was thinking like this. D4. Yeah, d4 is hard to play though. At least I thought it was hard to play. The truth is, it isn't. It's actually very easy to play, but I didn't see that because I'm bad. This was a few months back as well. Uh, my calculation has improved a bit since then. Not much, but a bit. Anyway. No, I have not. I've never had sleep paralysis. Anyway, but I was looking at... I was calculating that from this position, right? And from this position, I didn't see d5 or d4 working that well. So I didn't play e6. I decided that clearly... I want to just win the pawn back by queen a5. I got impatient. Queen a5, knight d4, queen takes c5. And this is where, sorry, knight d4. And this is where I was very experimental. This is where I was, uh, this is where I blundered a piece. Right? And I was like, oh, I don't want to play this. I was thinking bishop g6, but I completely missed knight b3. Not queen takes c5. I got my move orders wrong. Anyway. I saw this and I was like, this looks horrible. I have to go queen d8 and then just like bishop d3 and it's terrible. I'm I'm depressed. And so I was like, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Hey, pigeons. I think that maybe I have a new plan. 94. What you gonna do now, tough guy? Fun fact. It does not work. Fun little factoid. Not sound. However, it looks kind of scary. It looks a little scary because knight takes f5, I take here, you play pawn takes, I go queen takes c3, you go king e2, and I play e5. And like, it's not obvious. Now, what we missed was that I just don't have anything. There's nothing in this position. Hey, congrats. Uh, take the piece. Yeah, but we were both calculating this. And this looks scary. This looks scary. I like defending sus positions. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, no, definitely taking the piece was the right call. Uh, actually, I think I was thinking f6 here. f6, bishop h4. And then you like, it's like, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little sus. Now, it doesn't work. None of this works. It's completely unsound. However, both me and him, from afar... Thought that that looked very scary. And so, fun fact, he did not take the piece. He, take, he took on c6. Which is also funny. Jessica Bates. Thanks for the lurk. He took on c6. And now I could go through the rest of this game, but it was basically time pressure. Yep, you just have to drop the wisdom. It's very important. I mean, white's still better here, but it's like barely a pawn. Anyway, it's like it's very much a difficult position to play. So he didn't take the piece. I, I scared a FM out of taking a piece. I did calculate for a while. Anyway, now it's Cormac's turn. Yeah, that was a complicated game. What's your ELO? 
on uh, fide or online well online it's one it's a uh, 2157 fide it's like 1600 or something uh let me let me check let me give you a live uh i don't know my phone number but i know my fide id oh it's, i'm 1515 Feed online. I, nobody plays the Fide Arena. I'm 1515. So I'm a bit underrated, which is why I'm going to benefit from the uh, from Fide free elo. What they say the number was? It was like zero point four. It was zero point four times two thousand minus your elo. So my elo is fifteen fifteen currently. I'm not going to be able to play anymore before the new year. Times zero point four. So I'm going to gain one hundred ninety four elo off this. I'm going to go up to in 1700, yeah? Sheesh. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Sheesh. Wait, does the merch command still listed on my commands? It shouldn't be. I took down the merch a while back because I was unsatisfied with the quality. I felt bad about it because I'm like, oh, this is just the online, you know, like spring shop stuff and all of it's the same and the shirts are terrible and the and the thing washes off in two weeks. It's on your panel list? Dang it, I forgot to remove it. See, the thing is, I set things up and then I forget to remove them. No one will get the free low, though. Why not? Ah, oh, you're right, you're right. Everyone knows not to press it. Uh, Cormac, did you send the game and I'm blind, or have you not sent the game yet? Bye, Flix. No, I don't think Cormac's saying. But yeah, so I don't mind seeing a 1700. I'm not going to complain. 200 ELO is 200 ELO. And to be fair, the lowest performance rating I've gotten in my past few tournaments has been 1700, pretty much. No, lowest performance rating I got was 1800. And that was in a really bad tournament I played. I got, like, I scored really bad. I, I, I lost, like, three winning positions in seven rounds. And I still got a performance ELO of, like, 1800. So, I mean... I mean... Normally I get like 1900, but so Cormac, talk to me. Do you have a game for me to analyze? Am I doing a live, uh, a live, live analysis or live commentary, or what? Ah, here we go. He just didn't have the game prep this time. I got you. Another person first? No, I was doing... I did you before Danish because um, I am accidentally skipped you. Maybe I didn't say that before. It's I'm tired and I'm stressed because I got midterms tomorrow. And then two weeks from now, I got finals. The way my, my college ended up working is real messed up. Your turn was accidentally uh, skipped, Messi, but I'll do. I'll play you after Cormac if you like. Shifty three. Here comes the Black Lion. That looks wrong. Oh, 
How close am I being able to play this? I could play it. The Black Lion. You can just take on E4, right? I mean... Very close. Yeah, I think I'm like... Actually just able to. Okay. Anyway. Bishop C5. Bishop G5. H6. Bishop H4. G5. Bishop G3. C6. I mean, to be fair, this is now looking more like a black line. So I guess that was the problem. It wasn't black line enough for Courtney. This is still, I still prefer black here. Somehow. It's crazy, but. Oh, you have to at least try taking. Ruin the pawn structure. C4 I hate. Because now queen b6 and this is a problem and this is a problem. And the bishop is terrible. Queen c2. Bishop takes g1. Free piece. Bishop d4. What a crazy game of chess. I don't know, Cormac always does this. H5 threatening to try with the bishop. That's crazy. H4, G4. Not even taking the free rook. I mean, he might not have seen the free rook. I know I wouldn't have. Oh no, he did see the free rook. It's fine. Castling. That's so scary. The fact that the king is still... This is what always hurts my soul about the black lion. It's just the fact that the black king stays in the center the entire game, and yet there's nothing white can do about it. Ever. Like, there's never anything white can do about it. It just looks so backwards. But, I mean, right now, white's up too many pieces. It's just... No, wait. Black's up too many pieces to the point where it's completely impossible. And this is what I mean. It's just too much material. Oh, that's pretty. I am saying lion. Black lion. Lion. That's my North Carolina coming out. Hello. Hello, hello, Vidinova. That's my that's my North Carolina coming out. Instead of saying lion, I say lion. Simply yes was sufficed. Nah, it would not have. Such a great opening. It would have been greater if you uh, taken the free pawn. Not making fun. Such a. Uh, I'm telling you, the only reason I don't play the black line is my main repertoire is because I'm not gutsy enough. Okay, Cristiano, it's your turn. It is a pure, pure fearfulness that keeps me from playing the black line. What keeps you from playing in London? The fact that I in want to enjoy playing chess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Christiana's still not here. In which case, it's your turn, Dane. I think the St. George defense, the fact that I don't know what it is. The fact that I play the dragon. Some challenge, please do.
I'm ready to win. Or actually, okay, I'm not ready to win. No, never mind. Right, make up your mind, man. Bruv. Okay, never mind. All is forgiven. All is forgiven. Now fight. I can feel myself getting tired. It's that time of day. It's just that time of day. Eight hundred and eighty. That's that's a that's a big number. That's bigger than eight hundred and seventy. Heck, it's even bigger than eight hundred and sixty. It's completely insane. Ooh. Not sure I believe that. If this is a good move, eat my hat. I'm not even wearing a hat, so I don't have to eat anything. It's a good move. No. Look, I'm going to do it like this. Something like this line. There is something like this, but I don't think you play it with G6. Like, this sort of B5 idea happens in some positions, but not against the Catalan and not with this. Too many problems. Should I turn off sound? If you want to, it's your choice, man. We're playing unrated, so it's not that big of a deal. It would be a problem if we were playing rated chess, but we're playing unrated. I don't care, so it's fine. Now, let's see if I can force anything spicy. I can rotate this knight to c5. That looks like it makes sense. Because this knight's doing a very good job over protecting the c4 square and preventing knight c4. You saying you want to play rated? Uh, no. I, I'm not exactly sure I want to. Interesting. New plan. A3. Then I'll play like E4, and I'll play with the big center. And ask calmly what Mr. Dansk is doing with his life. Because I think it's nothing. I think the answer is nothing. You can't push e5, you can't push c5. You are stuck. Stuck defending your many, many debilitating weaknesses. How does it feel? Knowing that your position is based off lies. I work at McDonald's. What do you mean you work at McDonald's? That's not nothing. You're providing the valuable service. McDonald's. Not the most valuable service. But it's a valuable service. There are far worse things to do than work at McDonald's. I don't even have a McDonald's to work at. This is looking spicy.
Really? I don't know how I feel about that one, Chief. Actually, that's not true. I do know how I feel about that one. I have very many negative feelings towards it. I disagree with it strongly. Sus move, but I don't know what else to do. Well, yeah, fair enough. But opening a diagonal to your king is very sus. Would not recommend. Looks like you lose an exchange. I don't know. I guess you don't lose an exchange outright, but the position does look uncomfortable. It does look uncomfortable. Uncomfy. I want to play this very bad. So active. Turn my pieces into the killing machines they were always meant to be. Again, it's the pieces, man. I always focus on the pieces, but I feel like the pieces are important. Better piece good, worse piece bad. Well, to be fair, I think I could have played this better. I disagree with my own chess. Take that one. Take that. Yeah, this was a bad move. I probably... Probably should have just played like Rook C1. Something just calm and rational. This was a little bit too speculative. It doesn't work. But the why it doesn't work is the problem. I don't need that knight. I know what I need and I know what I don't need. I do not need that knight. Don't need it at all. See? Even he knows I don't need that knight. He knows it wasn't a bluff. I don't even know how to bluff. What does bluffing even mean? Bluff doesn't even sound like a real word. Yeah, the problem is I do have to study, 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 but for exams. Because college is a thing that exists. Finally agree with one of your attacks? Yeah, I think you could have just taken the night, buddy. Uh, I'm not sure I'd cop. I don't have a great deal of faith in my position. Or I didn't have a great deal of faith. Now I think I'm fine. But. Oh, what, did your queen get trapped or something? No, you had dark squares to escape on. Alright. And you get out. I still don't need the knight. The only attack I agree with, you disagree with? Yes. That's basically what I'm saying. For you, I mean, that's just how it is. Now, oh, come on. You can do it, I believe. Yeah! I was hoping you wouldn't let me do it to you twice. That was a bit of a disrespectful maneuver, I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit... 
It was a little bit trollish of me. Uh, I was doing a little bit of trolling, but it's fine. It's fine. Bro is cooking. But why? But why is bro cooking? And is what he cook and is what he's cooking both nutritious and delicious. Aqua, I'm learning the Carol Khan defense for black. Is it strong? Yes, very. And a simpler one. Two pieces versus the rook is hardly simple. It is a win though. I'm not sure I would call it simple. But we'll see. You're the one who has to win the position, not me. So I guess it doesn't matter too terribly much what I think. You know what? I'm actually brain dead. Fun blobfish fact. I actually don't have a brain. When is alt stream? Bro... I've been in swamps with exams. I'm going to be basically until the new year. I there is I like until at least like the 30th, I won't be able to do an alt stream. It's it's horrible. It's been wrecking me. Miserable, I tell you. Miserable. Wish for the best. Thank you. I'll survive, you know. But I'll survive. I've survived. Survived worse. But. Not having the most fun. Like this position. Yeah. I can study fairly quick. The problem is like focusing on it. I just. I've always had a very difficult time studying for school, like my entire life. It's been a continuous problem for me. I almost failed high school a number of times. I almost failed a number of classes, I should say. But, you know, based, it's not based to almost fail high school. Really, I have to clarify that. At least I wouldn't say it's based on almost fail high school. Maybe it is based on almost fail high school. I don't know. Failing high school is probably not based. You're here first. I mean, that doesn't work. See, told you it wasn't the easiest win. I was really glad you didn't see F6. <laughs> F6 would have been painful. F6 would have been painful. But it's fine. He missed it. And now he's got a minute to hold this rook endgame. Good luck with that one, buddy. 
base because it's reliable. You know what? Fair enough. What was that end game? You have you have a confession, Thane? Classic, just a an utter classic. Yeah, E4 is bad. Okay, just take the piece. I don't have anything. I have absolutely nothing. You, you go king h8 and I'm out of pieces. You can't attack without pieces. None of my pieces are ever near a king. Remember, two more attackers than you have defenders. You have two pieces defending your king. How many pieces do I have attacking? One. So I need at least to bring in three. I need to bring in three more pieces in order to checkmate you. I don't have time for that. You control d7. You're attacking my bishop. Rook d1 first. Okay, sure. Rook d1. Minimum queen e2. And you're preparing knight c4. Or if you're really that square, scared, queen g5. Queen g5, king h8, what do I have? Dilly squat. Zilch. Nada. You can even just play queen g8. Queen g6. So, you'll have the passer, which I'll play around, but it's definitely winning for you. Anyway. Bishop takes c6 is definitely wrong. I should have just played this, and then bishop takes c6. But, I want to see if you would fall for it again. But you didn't. Good job. Rook takes b2, I fundamentally disagree with. Don't give up material for no reason. It's the same mistake as before. If you have material, just take the material. What What am I going to do about this? What, what, are, you, what are you afraid of? Well, remember, two more attackers than defenders. I don't have a way to bring in another attacker. I'm just down a piece. Now, I will try. I was actually thinking queen f7. And to play this, but... Maybe this is better. Yeah, e6 is... Nah, it's just, I don't know if I believe in this one necessarily. The computer's claiming like, oh, well, technically. Well, technically. I have like two pawns for the knight. Just, just play this. This is good. Anyway. Now, rook c5 was terrible and you punished me for that one too. You really were killing me and doing very well this entire time now the only thing you missed here was after king h8 which is a very good move rookie one you just play f3 and i have nothing i have to play like h4 which is depressing i have nothing because i can't take the piece because i get made it on the back rank i was really hoping you wouldn't see f3 <laughs> i did not want to play around this because after f3 i have to play like h4 which is depressing then you just go bishop d4 nothing and i have to trade queens or you play bishop takes rook b2 so i have to trade queens and after the queen trade what do i do if i try to push this pawn then you just go like Rook b2 by itself cannot be that bad. Oh, c7. So. Okay, you have to you have to play a little accurately, but here. Now I can't push anymore. And you take the pawn and you take the game. Very bad, very bad. So, I lose on the spot. Well, you played f takes. And that allows queen takes e5, and now it's draw. And now it's slightly worse. And now it's losing. <laughs> pass pawns and rook end games, man. Rooks belong behind pass pawns. That's the rule. Rooks belong behind pass pawns. Rook c1. I'm going to try to move my king in. You move your king in. We draw. Going for this pawn was absolutely incorrect. And now you now you just can't stop the pawn and it's losing. Even if you go something like this, I go here, the pawn covers the, covers the square. You got to be careful in those endgames, man. 
Okay, Cormac, you're last, I believe. Yeah, I go for the win, not the boring draw. Then play for the win. We'll play, play well for the win. Then play rook b2, and if I go for something funny like takes, then rook f2, I guess. But you can't play for... You have to play for a win by playing better than your opponent, not by playing worse. Bismos, I'm sorry, the queue is closed. We're just doing... We're just seeing what Cormac does real quick. No, no reason to apologize. I'm just explaining. It's no, not a crime to... It's not a crime to try and join queue. It's not a big deal. Yep, you have to play the worst. Okay, Cormac isn't here. In which case, we're raiding somebody. Who... Who are we raiding? I can raid Adnan. Ooh, he's playing Fierce Blindfolded. That could be good fun. At least that's what it says in his title. Let's raid him. Cormac in a game. Uh, he's not showing in chat, which I means I think he left. Or ain't on none. Because I just need to go. I've got a bit more studying to do, and then I'm going to bed, try to get some sleep. See y'all. And fun. Okay, so I forgot to announce this earlier. I should have. But tomorrow, Thursday night. I'm doing a co-stream with uh, with my Hand and Brain partner for the upcoming Hand and Brain tournament. So it's going to be tomorrow at, what time? On my time, it's going to be like 4 p.m. CET, I think is when we're starting. It's going to be cool and hype. And we're going to be playing Hand and Brain Blitz. And it's, 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 going, to be, it's going to go well. I can feel it. Yeah, it's, I'm going to be streaming it. We're going to co-stream. I should have announced this earlier, but. Yeah, the Hand and Brain Tournament, the Simply Divina Winter Rumble, or whatever it's called. Look. Look. Anywho, have a great night, y'all.